record? Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. we're in. So how big? <laughs> how big was it? How big was it? How big My college boyfriend was so big. How, how big, big was he? <laughs> um, um, he, um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go on. No, I can't do this. He's no. in the Air Force and he's going to fucking drone strike me if I say an <laughs> ill word. <laughs> how tall was he? So that's how big he was. Drone oh. strike tall. Oh, he was so yeah. Big. How tall Big was enough he? that he couldn't fit in the airplane, so he had to do it remotely. I feel like that guy was definitely six one. Whoa. That's what oh I'm going to say. Too tall, in my Too opinion. Too tall. Toxic. Yeah. Toxic. Exactly. Toxic tall. What yeah. are you doing up there? I hate a toxic height. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Do you think he's like not called tall enough among other tall people, so that's why he joined the Air Force? Be like, I'm gonna fly over you. I don't think so at all. I think once you clear six feet, you it's all it's all potatoes. Is that a phrase? Yeah. It's all <laughs> it's, it's all, all potatoes. You're just yeah. like, yeah, we're all tall, and then you don't really worry yeah. about it. Meanwhile, the shorties are nickel and diming it. Yeah. They're like, I'm That's what I say about the Irish. It's all potatoes. It's all potatoes. It's all potatoes. That's, actually, that's actually really fucked up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with that's you? That's actually not okay. What? Oh, we're, oh, we're not down with racism towards the Irish? Oh, I thought this was a racism towards the Irish podcast. No, not the Irish Italians. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. I forgot. Our last I get beacon, those confused all the time. Our last beacon to get out every racist thought about all peoples, you just channel that into Italians. I mm. think I think. No, so. that is the common, the general consensus right now is out that's what everyone is doing yeah we all every human has a certain amount of racism inside them and that's a yes. beautiful beautiful thing and but you okay can't. seth mcfarland <laughs> <laughs> okay family oh everyone is Wait. not me keep going yeah. <laughs> do you have beef with seth mcfarland hey he's no, my boyfriend be, be nice to him all right be nice i have beef with seth mcfarland because he's lucas's boyfriend yeah and i, I got into comedy because of um teddy ted ted teddy? ted the bear, bear. Oh, can you, you call him Teddy. I call him Teddy. <laughs> what? Oh, he got you into comedy? No, I obviously didn't even know what his name was just now. <laughs> oh, you got him confused with the other That's Bears? That's Seth reason. MacFarlane though, right? Yeah. I Ted. mean, people get into comedy for weird reasons. I feel like that would be your origin story. Mm. I got in. I saw Mark Wahlberg talking to that. Right? Am I <laughs> yeah. describing yes, the right? No, yeah, you're, no, you're, you're, on, you're on the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, Don't doubt if, yourself. If Mark Wahlberg had been on that plane, <laughs> <laughs> it, it would not have missed the Pentagon. <laughs> Wait, did it hit the Pentagon? <laughs> didn't it look? No, it landed in a field in Pennsylvania. Oh shit! There were two so that were supposed to hit the Pentagon. Oh, I remember seeing photos of like a wrecked bit of the Pentagon, and I was like, "Oh, <laughs> look at you crying yeah. over there! <laughs> look at you crying because Lucas missed your riff." <laughs> Sorry, Welcome to my it? life. Sorry, what I was I know. It? I feel bad for you guys. What, what was the riff? Uh, oh, God. You? I don't remember. Yeah. Was, <laughs> I hey, have no hey, idea. Hey, welcome to my world. Exactly. Not listening to women. <laughs> yeah, no. And you are? Uh... <laughs> We just end the podcast right yeah. here. Oh, the podcast has started now. It has yeah. started. There's no way There's no way to know when this starts or ends or when I'm being recorded or when I'm not. You and know what I mean? that's true of everything. I Enough got here immediately. Talking. Welcome to Two <gasps> Nosy Beers. <laughs> yeah! yeah! He's saying what everyone's thinking. That's yeah. true. Uh, we are at our 101st episode. We've been yes. yammering and yammering for 101 episodes, you guys. And we are. We decided uh, as a special commemorative moment to bring back commemorative moment. Uh, I think this is commemorative. Isn't commemorative when they die? I mean, Did hey, we, yeah, that's what we're, we didn't tell you, but we're killing you. Fingers after. crossed. Yeah. Come on. The real focus today is. Did he just say bring Brack? Bring Brack? I'm pretty sure when we play back the tapes, <laughs> when I'll be correct. Bring, 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 bring Brack bring, better. Bring, bring Brack, my girls. <laughs> <laughs> you have to do that on stage. <laughs> That's so good. No, he can't do that on stage because it's actually a direct rip off of my bit. Yeah. I I love the way Lucas' stand up is like jazz. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. Be, wait, sorry. Did I say jazz? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be one of those comedians that opens with one single line that has become my signature. I'm just gonna go. And we all start freaking cheering at the yeah! top of our lungs. Yeah, I'm gonna have merch about. Is that it? how other people sound to you? Yeah. Can I say congrats on 101 episodes, guys? No, no. you can't say that. Can I say um, get fucked? I don't yeah. 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 Thank you. It's been a, it's been a wild ride, start should, to finish. Should we introduce? Uh, oh, fine. This guest? So basically, we Take we decided to bring back the guests that if we didn't bring them back, they would probably kill themselves. So <laughs> or fight their way in. Or fight their way in. So we're bringing back a very popular, beloved guest who some of you have written in about. Uh, her name is Meredith Dietz, and let's just say this studio smells like 
popcorn <laughs> whoa. <laughs> whoa you gotta break down your thought process oh my god that. you roasted the studio um i meant because oh my god okay so for context i'm really jet lagged because i went to a music festival with my parents money this weekend you notice oh, how what? she slid that in right oh there? yeah what music festival is it one i would have yeah. heard of uh, gabby jordan brown does it begin with a, a, a c what, what, what was it what was it it's called Coachella. <laughs> Bella Hadid. <laughs> uh, Kylie Jenner was there with her anti Coachella outfit on. Did you guys see that What's tweet? What's anti Coachella? There, it's literally. Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> It was a really dumb tweet that was just like, a be, a be, uh, what's her name? Kylie Jenner wears an anti-Coachella outfit. And like it's just a three-piece suit? What's it was, anti-Coachella? <laughs> That's the best part. I go to Coachella dresses like Mr. Peanut. Fucking like a bomb disposal outfit. <laughs> it's literally a black outfit. It's a black crop top and black jeans. How Baby, dare I'm she? I'm right here. Yeah. Oh, you're in your anti-Coachella era. I'm, I, I am in my anti-Coachella era. Are you secretly Kylie Jenner? Have you ever seen me and Kylie in the same room? I, I, uh, the answer is yes. We're yes, close, you close guys are friends. Yeah. friends. Can we rewind? Why does it smell like popcorn? What was the idea behind that? I was that trying yeah. to say you were our smelly guest, but I didn't want to make it sound like you actually smelled weird. So I do you think went popcorn smells good? Or I bad? think it smells very attractive. So I if I were to compliment someone, I'd be like, "Hey, you smell a popcorn." I disagree. I think popcorn's a neutral. <laughs> How the hell smell? are you single? The riz on this hey. guy. Hey, bitch, I'm, you sound like you said bitch, right? <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a popcorn. Wait, I yeah. have a question I've been meaning to ask you for a while. Me? Yeah, you. Yes, you I do like have popcorn? the riz. Yeah. Yes. But what is riz? It's Car short for charisma. No. I yeah. think, or that's something that we like retconned because it's what it means. Riz is your yeah. ability to pull. Yeah. Hey, if you have to ask what Riz is, maybe you don't got it. Whoa. Let me just say. Okay, but uh, Riz to me sounds like, because there's a player in the Yankees named Anthony Rizzo, Haley knows, and he's like this just like Italian stallion. So when I think of the Riz, I think of Anthony Rizzo. And can I oh. say, you just dropping baseball facts like as nothing is getting me horned up because you got Riz, baby. I was going to say, yeah, so, I don't know baseball at all. Baseball at all. We should go to a like, game together and I could like eat a hot dog in front of you and you like yeah. cut a you cut a hole in the bottom of your popcorn, which <laughs> the studio smells like. And that's what Riz is. You're dripping wet. So you've got the Riz. Gabby, can you just like describe it a little more? Just a little bit? I feel like I'm getting you guys too turned on right now. So I... Hey, <laughs> hey sky's the limit, baby. Keep going. Um, do you feel like you've Riz? Genuinely? Yeah. Um, no, I think the second I... I want something, I immediately shut down. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I will have accidental riz. Like, you know, someone I've been friends with for a few years will slowly but surely fall in love with me. Right. I, I'm an, I have acquired taste riz. Yeah. I think the second I'm like, I want to flirt with that person, um, then I'm, I'm going up to them and I'm like, uh, fuck, Mary, kill uh, me. Me. <laughs> me. 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 <laughs> Would you rather... I. Fuck Mary Kill, but instead of naming three people, you have to choose one act, one of those three things for one person. So I say, fuck Mary Kill, Lucas. What do you do to him? <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I think this is actually kind of brilliant. That's a good game. Kind of a good idea. Well, yeah. answer. Ooh, um, Come or on. what order? What order do you do those three things? Oh, in? what order I do them in? Oh I, yeah. I marry him. I kill him, and then I fuck him. Oh no, no. <laughs> what the, is this? Not the game. I kill him. Then, then I fuck him. <laughs> and then. he was such a good lay. I have to marry him. <laughs> I just you stayed there so up. well. I'm such a reliable partner. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Was, you were very reliable and exactly. consistent. Literally not moving. Exactly. <laughs> because I'm dead. Which is sort of my move in bed. <laughs> laying on my back like a little bug. Well, yeah, I was doing an impression <laughs> of you. You know how good I am at impressions. Exactly. Yeah. I like that you matched energies. You mirrored me. I'm an empath. And, <laughs> and that's, you always want an empath in bed. Yeah. So when you're like, ouch, they're like, yeah, ouch. <laughs> you know? Yeah, they feel it too. When you don't feel like talking and the other one is literally a corpse and you're just like, same. Same. Oh my God. Yeah. I love how we can sit in this comfortable silence. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like the fuck, Mary kill games that are about uh, idioms. Wait, so, tell me more. So mm. I've been doing this lately. Fuck, Mary kill. Um, uh, can I have that? Yeah, here you go. You can, you can bring a horse to water. <laughs> But you can't make it drink. Um, these are the uh, these are the act things I'm going to fuck, marry, or kill. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, okay. So bring a horse of water. Can't make a drink. Can't make oh, yeah. a drink. Um, teach a man to fish. Teach a man to fish. He'll eat for a day. No, no, no. Give so, a man a fish. Give a man a fish for a day. He'll... Teach a man to fish. Eats for life. So that's one. All right. And then the third one is live, laugh, love. 
<gasps> Whoa. Well, oh my God. I think, um, bring, oh, so the, what's the first one? The horse to the water? You, yeah, you, you can bring a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. Second one is fish. Third one, live, laugh, love. Okay. I think I would like to, um, uh, probably, I think I would, um, have sex with my dad's body and my boyfriend's brain to switch them back. <laughs> Do you guys know that one? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's the answer to that one again? <laughs> we did that one. What, someone asked us that once on the podcast. When oh, you, yeah. When you were dating someone, it was like what when you were dating someone. <laughs> That's how long ago that was. That someone <laughs> asked us on the podcast. Jesus Christ. Damn, that dude. was ouch. <laughs> she, oh. Remember when you were in love a million years ah, ago? Ah, <laughs> fuck, that was hot. <laughs> Sizzler. Hey, I said he was dating someone. I didn't say he was in love. <laughs> No, please, we never admit those things. Come on. I do think that I really like the teacher. I think live, laugh, love. I could not. I think that's. Good. I think that someone who says live, laugh, love. I would fuck has, that one for the you, story. I you feel have like to there's fuck. a good story. In there's that a lot one. of repression in someone who has to remind themselves Indeed. to live and laugh Low and key love. Low-key freak. Yes, that's a freak. So I think we're we're fucking that. I think I can do. I'm never gonna bring a horse to water and make a drink. I never would, and I also I disagree. So you're saying is you can't make it wet. I genuinely think I could get a horse wet, Lucas. I got Riz, but I do think that I Riz. <laughs> Riz. Hey, babe, I am allowed to say that. I'm pretty sure I broke my hymen on a horse. <laughs> you did? Yeah, when it was you happening. Sex to me. <laughs> so a horse brought you to water. Stop. That's not funny at all. <laughs> yeah, Lucas. When you think about that horse's story. <laughs> When you think about what he went it's through yeah. to fuck Meredith, you wouldn't laugh at that. I genuinely disagree. I could I could make that horse drink. <laughs> I go I go in the, I get on all fours in the water. It's slurping. So I I fuck I'm killing that one. Kill it. That's a stupid one. <laughs> but teach the teach a man to fish, that's so important. Mm. You have to teach men how to fish. Mm. <laughs> you do. I'm yeah. <laughs> I'm teaching him how to fish. It's for the only way we know how to take a good photo is by is it, with a exactly. Fish. Oh my god, if we didn't teach those men to fish then who would I be um, then we'd swiping have no on public his? Record. <laughs> exactly. Then there'd be no public record of exactly. men. How are you liking the dating apps, Meredith, mm. that you have to be on due to your research? <laughs> Talk about it. Yeah. I, no, no, there's dating apps. Are you kidding? Mm. All I'm doing is going through, I'm not going on dating apps and meeting someone new. I'm going through my Instagram stories and playing Smash or Pass. I am no. dating a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, no event in the world could make me not date a Brooklyn comic at my exact level. See, and career. that <laughs> is queerness. That's the ultimate queerness, I think. Yeah, I'm queering being happy by messing up my life. <laughs> <laughs> by sabotaging everything. See, I, I also think if... It, like if anything ever happened in my relationship, I would just date my friends because yeah. I think the dating apps are so bleak. Like, they, I I remember once I went on them and it was like, uh, like, a, like a long time ago. And it was like, you, we will fall in love if you also like coffee. And I had just gotten out of this like relationship that was like deep and meaningful. Like, that's a connection to you? It was like, it was like my first love, right? Like when I got out of, when I like just gotten into the world of like college and dating, like. We, was and this was, your boyfriend with a dead grandma? Um, no, I didn't love him. <laughs> This guy can't catch a break on hey, this. Type of, if you, if you need to talk, man, we can talk. I, I, I can, I can buy, I can buy That's you. So I feel bad for this guy. What's yeah. his first, last, middle name? <laughs> yeah, what's, what's his social security? <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll give you his info. I will say, okay. Do you want to hear another story about him and me just like tearing oh. his life? Yeah, apart? not at all. Lucas, so you how are you doing? Grandma is. I yeah, one on. time was showing a girl who I liked um, his uh, profile. That was a good angle. Put that on your hinge profile. Wait, whoa, well, what'd you do? She just did. <laughs> she swooped. Yeah. Now that sorry, was written. No, on, sorry. Finish, I'm sorry. Please. Just your voice is shrill and it's hard for me to pay attention. <laughs> you know how women are tough to listen to? Anyway, go on. Uh, <laughs> um, remember what Jane Lynch tweeted about that? Anyway. That was funny. That was really, she was right. I ghost wrote that. Um, <laughs> and I believe you. Well, David Dobbins. Hey. David Dobbins is here. What's up, David and, Dobbins? Oh, that's what a coincidence. My lap is free. <laughs> 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 what the hell is up? Come on in, David Dobbins. We're getting yeah. we're, it's a uh, story time. Uh, we're learning about uh, a terrible thing that Gabby did to one of her exes. I love seeing him here. It's great. So you guys really invited anyone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get in there. <laughs> 
So for context listeners, we tried to bring back some very popular guests for you, but most of them couldn't make it or canceled. So we brought back Meredith and Dobbins. And all I, I got was this stupid t-shirt. I mean, honestly, oh we were going to dismiss Meredith and have David come, but I think you should just stay and we should all just like share a mic. Come Indeed, on in. Come on yeah. in. Come on in. Come, on in. Yeah, come on in, big dog. Oh. Yeah. All right. All right. Use this all right. one. All right. Yeah. yeah you guys sweet. share over there. I'll have my own. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, please give it up, listeners, for David. David Dobbins. Woo! Is this live? Yeah, we're live. Are we live? Yeah, we're really? live. Yeah. We're, what are we on? Um, Ketamine. Ketamine. Oh, <laughs> I have a little bit of lake water in this bottle, so I'm just going <laughs> to... Lake water. Oh, that was so free. Yeah, it's really good. I yeah. hate paying for water, but you it's, go down to a lake. What's on your shirt, brother? Huh? This is a really... It's important message. Harry Potter. It's probably going to go... Obama. It's going to go Sonic. over a lot of heads. <gasps> yeah. That's a fuck, Mary kill. Harry Potter, Obama, and, and Sonic. Sonic, yeah. Sonic. Ooh, a fuck, Mary kill, Harry Potter, Obama, Sonic. I feel like Obama already fucked me, you know? Yeah. Well, Harry Potter is a child, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill him. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. So yeah. Obama, did, Harry, Sonic? Did he, yes, grow, easily, easily. Didn't he grow up at Harry... Does he really? What's, it, what's his age in the last book? Well, he's also not real. So, does his, does where his is Sonic? Age you can't see There's that. an epilogue, so it's he's he was 17, and then it zooms forward to when yeah. he has kids and stuff. And oh, and he's 80. Really? Yeah. No, so uh, he's, oh. he's he's like the. This is a real thing in the Harry Potter where you realize that like Harry's parents when they had him when they died were like 21. Right. It's so J.K. Rowling's math, and this is truly my only critique of this woman. Her <laughs> math is really <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Everything else is good. Yeah. Everything else. Hey, you can come in in front of the camera. She, yeah, come on, in, come on yeah, in. Yeah, come on in. That's our producer. That's our producer here. Oh shit. Whoa. Oh damn. Anyway, yeah. We're going crazy. Okay, now that she yeah. left, what the fuck is her deal? <laughs> <laughs> I met her two seconds ago. Oh, Nothing but lovely. Nothing oh. but lovely. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No way, but uh, we, we interrupted you, though. Go, talk about yeah. what you did with your ex. So I was talking about um, my, my college ex-boyfriend who I uh, broke up with him the day after his uh, grandma's funeral. You may remember this from uh, the movies. Oh. Yeah. What do you mean? What movies? Harry Potter. Huh? Yeah, it was in there. Isn't this your story? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you can't do refer you can't throw references at me. No. I don't read. I've never read. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm being That's privileged. I, I sat down in here and I was told it was gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be a nice experience. And then you start throwing book facts. You were told me. this was gonna be a nice experience. I was told it was fifteen minutes ago be... they said they were gonna kill me on live TV. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh they fuck. made me Fuck it, we'll do it live. We'll yeah, do it live. We'll do it. Then they said that I had to say my BMI, and they were going to tell me it was good or bad. <laughs> oh, we had to bring in our BMI? We're going to do a weigh-in like Ooh. Princess Diana got. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of references I don't get. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they used to, the, it's really fucked up. They used to, like, make Princess Diana, like, weigh herself before Christmas or something. Oh, it was, like, a jolly thing the English do, because after the Christmas dinner, they're like, oh, you probably all gained weight from the quail or whatever. Isn't that so funny? And then they make everyone weigh themselves. <laughs> and Diana was like, what was the Princess fuck? Princess Diana in the 1700s? <laughs> <laughs> That's a fair question. That's okay, actually really fair. They're like, dude, I can't believe we convinced Diana to do that. Yeah, really. What year did Princess Diana... Um, fucking a year that too late. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah, really. That was the meanest thing I've ever said. That's uh, not um, true. Yeah. I, you can't say that about Diana. We're having her ghost on next week. Don't Can they call her Die? Yes. Yeah, that isn't that a the good old Max Gross joke? Yeah, oh. Princess Die. Oh yeah, oh. a nickname and a short yeah, and a biography right, and a right, biography. Right, yeah. it's a little. Do, do you, what? How close to her do you have to be to call her Die? Um, you have to be like you have to have her dapped her up once, then you can. <laughs> 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 then you can call her die. How close is it? One podcast with her. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. She'd be good on. You podcasts. gotta do her open mic. <laughs> she would have had one. Are there any royal people with podcasts? Yes. Oh yeah, no. Um, Obama well, and Bruce Springsteen. Yes, indeed. Who? Bruce, Bruce Springsteen and Obama. Oh, and Obama. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Who? Obama. New Jersey royalty. Obama. Barack Obama. Do you guys know? Joseph Biden's middle name? Robinette. 
Yes! <laughs> Who's saying? Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. Robinette? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you didn't know? You didn't know Easter candy, a little Robinette, yeah. you know? Yeah. Wow. What did you think it was before? And I didn't. I will, Tom. When I. <laughs> Tom. Joseph Thomas Biden. Joe Tom. I think my name's my middle name. I think my what? middle name's Tom. <laughs> Do you not know your middle name? It, go, you, it comes and goes. One time I forgot my dad's name. Oh, <laughs> wait, completely? One time I forgot it, yeah, because he has, Were two, you just, uh, he has two names. Was it, wait, One was before like, and oh. after. Was before he, and after he, what, you? Birth. Before and after your birth? <laughs> yeah. Do you ever do that? Wait, David, do you ever do the thing where he says, hey, David, how you doing? You're just like, hey, you. Hey, buddy, what's up? <laughs> hey, this guy. Yeah. Wait, this actually leads nicely into what I did to my ex-boyfriend. Oh, my so, God, that fucking story. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, here, let's get So there. we yeah, broke up. It. Yeah, it's going to be so anti And this is not Harry Potter. No. No. This, this is, is you. Different, this is... Gabby texted me a slur this morning. Yeah, I did. Sorry, I'm just remembering that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, I got the screenshot of that. So yes. it's like, well, because like, hey, I need evidence. Meredith yeah. responded so fast to it. I said, do you want a bagel dyke? <laughs> And she wrote back Jesus Christ so quick that it like made me laugh on the train. But then she didn't realize I was actually offering to get her a bagel. You called her a Oh, you thought it was a bagel? bagel. I called her a bagel. Yes. Is that bad to say? The what, the D word? Yes. Yeah, the D word. And I said if that's a anti-Semitic and homophobic just... way to describe herself. What were you going to say, Mr. Dobbins? I was just wondering. There's like certain words where I don't know if it's cool or not to say it. Yeah. Like it's usually best to test the limits one. though and no, see. I don't. <laughs> Ask for forgiveness. I don't know what we're on. We could be on Nickelodeon. You know, we could be. This yeah. is on Nickelodeon right now. Nickelodeon Let's bring Live. Boy. Nick Live. Here we go. Yeah. Oh wait, so okay. Here's okay. what I did. Okay, what'd you what do? What the fuck did you do? <laughs> Here's what I did. When do I get slimed? Oh, fourth my oh, 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 oh look at her go. Oh my gosh. I'll just, I, oh wait, I'll hold it, I'll hold it. Hold it. Lucas can just raw dog it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot. I need something to Speaking hold. of when you're gonna get slimed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Right here, baby. That's okay though, that's good for my career. So my ex-boyfriend right? had a big dog. Oh. He had a, well, and that's well. not a euphemism. He had a big old dog named well. Roxy. And I was showing a girl I was really into, like, who loved dogs. I was While like, you were dating this man? No, after. Oh, okay, after. okay. Th and that's significant, that it's okay. after we broke up. Okay. I was really into this girl, and I was like, look at my ex's big dog. Isn't that crazy? And I show him, I show her his Facebook profile, and I accidentally hit request friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but was it accident, or was it one of them Freudian, you know what I mean? <laughs> Freudian. Freudian. Clicks. Oh, no, that a was a, click? That was a genuine accident, That's except funny. there was another time where I had done it before, like on purpose, and he had like uh, he had like not accepted the request. But the second time I did by accident, and he messages me the next day being like, What the fuck? Stop friend requesting me. This is ridiculous. You did something so wrong to me. And then instead of just being like, I'm sorry, I just did it because I missed you, I said, I was actually just showing my friend a photo of your dog. <laughs> <laughs> no. my, I mean, that's the truth. Yeah, and my yeah. Hand, but I shouldn't have told the truth in that moment. Yeah, Why? Why can't toxic? Yeah. 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 She texted me a slur this morning. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's not toxic so much as it is as it is saying what everyone's fun. thinking. Yeah. Sorry, but right. Blue moon. I start putting two and two together, and I'm seeing you in a very different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think there's been a lot. The bulk of this podcast, 101 episodes, seems to be Gabby wronging her past lovers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, why do you, do you have such I'm, a history? Do you think what I'm toxic, have... David? Yeah. Do you know Riz, yeah. David? Uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I know that guy. Yeah. <laughs> Riz Daniels. <laughs> He's my jazz teacher. <laughs> In community college. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you can only scat. Riz Daniels. <laughs> I'm late again. <laughs> Wait, what did he teach you? And he was so mad too. Yeah. Jazz. He taught just jazz one, just general, simple, general jazz. It was jazz as a lifestyle. Intro to jazz. <laughs> Intro to jazz as a lifestyle. Oh, David, I'm drinking black coffee, which your girlfriend hates. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah she Wait, hates it. Are you why? a black coffee guy though? Well, there's been a whole thing. Oh, there's what, been a whole thing. Wait, what's the thing? What's oh, going on? Oh my god. Um, to drudge up a lot of Yeah. Well basically I was heavily addicted to caffeine for okay. many years and went deep down into <laughs> Yeah, I went, went deep into in a the dark war. hole. Deep and in the went, war. Yeah, and then I was drinking black coffee to f to fight people, and then <laughs> and then and then oh, I started doing tea, black tea, because that's okay. a little bit. You know, oh, you're on tea? 
I'm on tea. You're on tea. I'm on four bags of tea per day. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm on a heavy amount four of it. Me personally, tea. very low tea. I don't, I don't have that much that's, tea. Well, that's I true. could hook you up. I know I have a high guy. Tea. Yeah, you, you do. Got, yeah, I got high tea. Yeah. No, I love high tea. I, I feel like I, this is maybe like a toxic internalized misogyny thing. But when I say I, I have high tea, I kind of feel like it's a brag. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Brag. I'm yeah, like, yeah. I have high tea. I'm a guy's girl. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say I'm, I'm, a, I'm a man inside a girl. Yeah. <laughs> so wait, you You're, started? There's a man inside you? Oh. A man inside a girl? That's, <laughs> I'm talking about 40 and click. I'm always typing that in a search bar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm kidding. I like the stepbrothers still. <laughs> yeah. Stepbrothers are good. They did a good oh. job with that movie. <laughs> that's, yeah. my, that's, that's my Will Ferrell porn. What's that? Will Ferrell porn, did you say? Yeah, the Step Brothers. Is there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. That yeah. movie is a porn. I there's a nutsack that. in it. Yeah, there is a nutsack. And if there's a nutsack, it's porn. They don't know how to define porn. It's like, you know it when you see it. And the movie Step Brothers, starring Will Ferrell and the other guy. John is, C. Riley. Right. Shut the fuck up. Right. I'm trying to do an impression of him, like, Oh, what do you do, Deborah? Like, can you can you do a John C. Riley? What does he Ferrell? sound like? You tell me, and I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me how he sounds. That was kind I of know from, um, What's the one show he had on Adult Swim? Kind oh, of. Oh, Steve Brule. Yeah, yeah, that's oh, all. That's, so that's the one. That's the good one. That's my favorite. Shit. I think this is boy stuff. I don't yeah. know. See, Steve now Brule. these well, are guys. Go I have high teeth. Oh, yeah. so you know about Steve Brule. <laughs> Steve Brule is really T-Brule. high up there. Steve Brule. Steve Brule. Yeah. Tea oh. brew. Bag, speaking tea of, brew. black oh. coffee. Oh, yeah, yeah. So wait, so you got into tea. I went deep into it. Deep into tea. Deep into tea. Yeah. And basically, dude, I started just, I was just chugging it mm-hmm. all day long. And I was like, God, I'm dry. You know? Yeah. I just got so dry. Yeah. Mm. You ended I, up in that wait. alleyway. I know. It was like a wine. It was like a dry wine. Mm. Yeah. And I just was like a raisin, like a raisin wine. Yeah. Like you try to squeeze a... Juice out of a raisin to make a wine. I'm really sorry to hear that. Yeah, it oh. was terrible. Yeah. yeah, and I was really addicted to it. And then, um, and then I just I went cold turkey for two weeks. Wow, how no was that at all? Terrible. I could. I've never done that in my. It life. It was terrible. Yeah. But Did my roommate, headaches? my roommates had a thing. Yeah. They had an intervention. Oh wow. Yep. They all they got in the kitchen. They were like, "You're too it's, hyper." You're yeah. like, "You need you need to be a low T. This is we can't yeah. deal with high T." And I walk. Well, they 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 ambushed me because I walked out into the kitchen with a. I have this this mug, this big mug, mm-hmm. and I had about probably eighteen bags of tea on there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hanging out dude. of there, and then and then they said, "Buddy, you got to stop this." It was really just one. <laughs> I Wait, was, is what? that is that you? I was, had uh, a tea surge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I had an intervention by one guy, and it was and it was in my roommate. Oh. I don't know if I can say his name. I think he's been on here. I think probably Deboncor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has, yeah. I'm familiar with his work. Deboncor. I wish I knew his middle name so I. Could and have. he told the same story, but it was really sad. It was really sad. Yeah, Robinette. Really sad. Yeah, Robinette. Yeah. Robinette. <laughs> yeah, Robinette. yeah. <laughs> How did you find out his name was Robinette? How did I find out? How'd you, I was you look born it knowing, and I'm really shocked when other people don't. I'm from Wilmington, Delaware. Every time I get, I go home, I get off the Amtrak station, mm. and it's Joseph R. Biden train station. Really? And, they, and you would think, you would think it's train station, the R stands for railroad. No, yeah. it stands for Robinette. Yeah. Yeah. I Joseph fucking, Railroad Biden. I, Joseph Railroad Biden. Is, this is for sure something we talked about on the pod before. I get crazy. Well, he could have had the He could have the Rodham. It was, it was Joseph yeah. Rodham Clinton Biden. <laughs> and I was like, that's the ticket I'm voting for. <laughs> Here's what I'll say about Hillary. I love everything about her, but her emails. She's uh, such yeah. a butter emails. <laughs> That's my dream as a comic is for people to go, ah. <laughs> I like that. I get that a lot, actually. What's the end of her email? I think she's a hotmail girl. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she started saying really crazy stuff. I mean, it was in, like. And re- recently? Because she would have like subject lines, you know, or not subject lines. What's the signature? That's signature. No, she would have subject lines. And it's like, what's the point? <laughs> I put all my email get in the subject it. line. So I, just, <laughs> I, I get to the point. You know, people are like, oh, I see what the message is. I don't have to click, click, you know. <laughs> I like just put it, the URL. And yeah. it's, you know what I mean? It's long and I'm drinking a lot of tea and I'm writing. 
a lot know, of my, emails. My congressman, yeah. you know, I'm telling him about what's going on. Who's your congressman? Your I feel life. like I'm on the street and they're not, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and they need to know about this true. stuff. To yeah, the t- you are. Yeah. yeah. Like, it was really hard to get from the M to the 1 today. Oh, the L to the 1? I was dying. Yeah. It's These, just, the L is a wretched beast. And, and I, I guy, felt betrayed. I walked into a, an alley and this guy goes, it's closed, you know. And I'm like, okay. Yes. And then he told me where to go. And he You guys nice. meet the same guy? Yeah, and he, yeah, he was he's a weird him. kisser. Yeah, he yeah. was. Yeah, it was all tongue. It was all, and it was a he forehead just kiss. My nose, and he had know. no teeth. And he had no teeth. Yeah, yeah, but he. Which normally I'm like, I, when someone has. Yeah, hey, those are getting in the way. No need. He exactly. Growled, exactly. He growled like he had teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think growling is something you do when you don't have teeth and you're still. Um, insecure and not comfortable with your body, right. and you're growling to kind of distract. I'd like guns. growl more if I didn't have teeth. To be honest with I you, I do like growling. I think growling right. should be more like sexual. I think growling has instead become... of what aggressive. Just... Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Do a sexy. Do a mean growl and a sexy growl, and I'll see if I can tell the difference. A mean growl is like no. It's you. You gotta freaking surprise me. Okay. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> blind. Blind growl test. Okay. Um, I'll close my eyes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> is it Yoda? <laughs> oh, oh wow. That's a I, horse growl. I think I might just really like Gabby. All of those were sexy to me. <laughs> oh, yeah, those were good. They also, oh. the first one was for sure hungry. Yeah, this, I, you know, I really appreciate that because the worst date I ever went on, we had sex. And then afterwards, she Jesus Christ, was it was your worst date? date and you still had oh sex. What? what the fuck? That's you are so toxic. Nothing dude. about you is relatable. <laughs> <laughs> she told me she was like, I didn't like the sex because I feel like she. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, sorry. It, it doesn't count as sex because it was another woman. Um, And she was like, uh, yeah, the noises you made were like two animal like so i didn't like <gasps> wow whoa i never have given anyone feedback but i don't know if that's <laughs> because yeah, maybe not like just one time but then again did you do you think she did you a favor i don't know if you're like hey let me give you a tag exactly <laughs> yeah i just want to say i this it wasn't during the sex it was probably during pillow talk i was like <laughs> I was probably like being cutesy because because I was trying to make her feel better because the sex was bad. I was trying to make her feel better to be like, hey, it's okay that the sex was bad. Don't worry about and it. And when we say the sex was bad, are you saying she was bad at sex? I listen. I don't want to place That's blame like on anyone. That's speak. Like, hey, we're gonna go in a different direction. Yeah. Exactly. I don't want to place blame but on anyone softened. else, but it's never my fault. We're gonna go in a different mm-hmm. direction. Butthole towards the cooch. <laughs> Just the I say, like, I, listen, I like you, but the focus group, they, they, they were not, are into, not it. into it. They but the fun. higher ups, you gotta know the higher the, ups. Yeah. Well, what can what you, do? you do? Yeah, I guess I am toxic. I guess that's what we're learning. Does yeah. anyone else have any deep wounds they want to talk about? Ooh, oh, let's open them up. Yeah, let's my open parents. Them. You guys are the nosy mute. Oh yeah, your parents divorced. I've never oh, heard about yeah. that. Let's oh yeah, let's do it. Same. Yeah, oh yeah. wait, what? Actually, David, can I ask? Like, so you were? <laughs> oh no. no is you your were, is your mom single? <laughs> my mom. Well, no, she has a boyfriend now. Oh, she got a, oh. BF, she got a BF. Wait, has, Hot BF. has this? Yeah. Is this a recent long time BF? Long time. Oh, long BF. time. How many yeah. years? He taught me days. about investing, and that's true. He showed me mutual funds. Oh, okay. Okay. because wow. we have a mutual friend. <laughs> Anyways, continue. <laughs> no, I was uh, well. I was gonna ask, like, you were one of our you were one of our first guests uh, once we started doing it, uh, the uh, recordings live. And oh. I want to ask, like, how has your life in in any dramatic shift or not since then changed? Oh yeah, his parents divorced since then. Mm. Yeah, yeah. They saw it and they said, "We this is your fault." Yeah. <laughs> we saw the live recording and we don't like what we saw. Yeah. You know. We don't like I what love we when did. parents yeah. do admit that it is the kid's fault. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It happens. It happens. I know you're going to see on TV parents saying, "It's not your fault." Mm-hmm. It is your fault. I don't want there to be any confusion. Any confusion. Okay, and what we've put it in writing. How old were you when your parents got divorced? <laughs> uh, fifth grade. So oh. uh, 10ish. Yeah, yeah, I was like yeah. 11, 12. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Your parents are divorced? Of course. Have you heard me? <laughs> yeah. <come on. laughs> when did they divorce? Around the same time? Or? Um, my, yeah. Were their cycles synced up with David's I parents? think so. I don't know if we're the same age. Do you guys all have DPs except me? Are your parents happy? I have. I don't know. Probably. Oh, yeah. you're the only one who doesn't? 
I don't have DPs. Freak. Freak. Yeah. <laughs> then I why did you? Kind of, I got the other kind of DP. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Dr. Dead Pepper? Parents. Oh, uh, shit, dude. That's better than Dr. Pepper. I thought, <laughs> that's way better than that, dude. Oh, my God. Oh. Ah, well, so my dad yeah. is Dr. Pepper. Your dad is? Mm-hmm. Of course wow, it's a man. Got, yeah. No, of not course a it's a doctor. Degree, not MD. Well, it just goes by. Women can be doctors. Dr. Pepper is a woman. But the doctor is Dr. in Phil history. Is DP. <laughs> Diet that's another, Pepsi. That's another Diet, one. That's true. Yeah. Um, Don Peppercorn. Direct Paposit. Don Julio. <laughs> direct Paposit. <laughs> direct Paposit. I love Direct Paposit. <laughs> direct Pepto. You ever yeah. have that? You Pepto Dunkin' stretch. Ponuts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's another one. Die Pard? Uh, yeah. Die Pard. Die Pard. Die Pard. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Die part two with a pendant. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Dude. Uh, Danny Phantom. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, that was nice. Wow. You guys watched that? I never did. Never watched it. So. I did. I liked I liked um, when uh, there were ghosts because it reminded me that not everything is as it seems. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Is, yeah. That's the Wizards of Waverly Place theme song. Everything, everything is not what, what it, it seems. seems. Harmony. Sorry, there's uh, there's women. Oh my god, are, are you guys a fucking choir? Because that was beautiful. Yeah, thank you, thank yeah. you. Aka, you, beautiful. You know that they just revealed that Alex Russo on that show was b- coded as bisexual. I think that's absolute bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I Why? think that's not women real. and bisexuals. Two things that don't exist. In I my don't opinion. think I it makes it. sense. I think that that is. It was Disney Channel in the 2000s. They are just like it, that's the same thing as J.K. Rowling. Great woman who said, <laughs> who was like, oh, Dumbledore was gay. I'm like, you can say anything you want after the fact. That's so annoying. Yeah. There was no way that she was, what made her bi? She was a guy's girl. Ooh, true. But all guys' girls are bi. Yes. It's but true. tag all, yourself. <laughs> all, all guys' girl. No, 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 no. Wait, do you think all bi women are guys' girls? But not all guys, oh, girls like, are bi. Like square, square rectangle. Which is the square and which is the rectangle? Exactly. Yeah. I love square rectangle logic. Yeah. I used to try to have stand up about Mary it. Kill, square and, and rectangle. rectangle. Uh, g- g- and by uh, women. And by women. And that's all three of them. <laughs> and then, a square, and then, rectangle, and a by women. And then women. kill yourself at the end. Yeah. Uh, well, what, or what's no, the third one? No, that's options. That's three, option. that's Wait, what are three the options. Squares, rectangles, and by women. Oh, yes. <laughs> Lucas was just telling <laughs> yes. you to kill yourself. Yeah. It's, 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 Fuck, Mary, kill a square, a rectangle, or a bisexual woman. Uh, well, square, I feel like, is the most... Um, you can depend on it. Like, it's the most... Yeah. I don't yeah. want to say well-rounded, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's got the most like you know rectangle it's kind of like a little bit too much on one side yeah. Whereas square is a more rounded rectangle square yeah. is yeah it's like it's got well it's rounded. even parts it's not mm-hmm. too much of anything I would say I'd probably marry the square um, and you'd, like squares are more you know they don't do drugs mm-hmm. mm. um, and then a rectangle addicts all of them nah. I mean the, squ- the square I feel like the square is going to get jealous of the rectangle because they're kind of similar. And it's like, what are you doing with the rectangle? I cannot wait to hear your reasoning for what you're going to do to this bi woman. <laughs> <laughs> wait, am I fucking the bi woman? Is that the last? Well, yeah, that's up to you. You get that's to up choose. To you. you get to choose. If you, I will say, I think it would be really brave of you if you chose to spend a life with and have sex with these two shapes and kill the one human option. <laughs> I don't know because I think... Yeah, Isn't your girlfriend bi? I, like, I know. Girlfriend is Isn't your woman. girlfriend a bi woman? I know. Well, listen, I don't know too much about that. And her days are numbered. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't yeah. know about that. I don't know too much about that, but I know that... Um, I know that if I... Because I'm married to a square, like I know kind of how sh- that... Square thinks. Yeah, that is know? a square is a life part. I, yeah. I know how a square thinks. And I know that she's gonna be pissed if I'm out with a rectangle. Her sister. <laughs> <laughs> so her, I uh, her think, busted sister. I just want to avoid that. If I cheat on, you know what I mean. Is it cheating? If it's fuck Mary Kill? No, 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 no. Because no, no, no. you are fucking before you marry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, the fuck the rectangle. <laughs> oh, that's easy then. If, if I'm not cheating on my square wife, then, <laughs> then so, fuck that, fuck that thing. This the rectangle, clearly. Because I want something, you know, tall and skinny. You know what I mean? But I'm not. I, I know. I've tra- seen you. I've seen I'm your tra- girlfriend. Oh, no, 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 no. This is a horizontal I'm rectangle. Traditional. This oh. is a landscape mode rectangle. No, no. Landscape mode. 
old rectangle. No, oh, I want her to be tall and skinny. <laughs> you just tall? Yeah, I was I was missed mistold. Okay, I want uh, a rectangle that's a chode. Yeah, I want something that maybe oh. diagonal. You can have a diagonal oh. rectangle. You know, like a hash. Right on the corner. Divided right. by backslash kind of rectangle. I think I still feel bad for the square in this scenario because I, I don't know. I think that... No, sorry. I don't feel bad for the square. The square wins. I feel bad for the rectangle because the rectangle is like seeing the square that you married and is kind of like singing to herself like, yeah, you're a liability. You know that Lord song? I, I do. I think it's the nicest thing to do because of the competition between these two shapes. You have to kill one of the shapes. Well... Because yeah. they can't see, one of these shapes can't see what you're doing to the But then there's I, a perfect I'm bi woman fine. in the equation who's just so easy to kill. Who says she's perfect? I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay for the rectangle to get mad because I know we don't have a future. Do you know what I mean? Like, I can, oh. I'm really okay with that. I don't like right? the idea of anything. But you want to live me. in the moment and enjoy the rectangle while you can. Right. I mean, everyone wants to try a rectangle at least once, but I'm not going to be like, this is my well, life now you're partner. Finally, now we're, now it, we're yeah. sharing bank accounts. Yeah, right. And getting the law into it. Right. Mm. Come on. Also, we're, we're acting Be like this sensible. bi woman is perfect. Like, she probably has demons. Mm. As opposed oh. to the shapes? No, the shapes are perfect. Mm. <laughs> no notes. Oh, you know what? The yeah. shapes have, like, kind of, like... You and know, it was only you, just legalized marrying a rectangle. Mm. You're going to write someone off the second they have demons? This is why your love life has been so oh. tortured in the past. Yeah, yeah, this is why so, you've absolutely wronged so many people. So judgy. <laughs> so judgy. Yeah. Did yeah. you say the thing that you did to the boyfriend? Did you get that full yeah, story wait. out? No. Oh, yeah. No, with the, the, dog the, thing? the, the following and the, the, the year. Remember? The, the, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he was so you insistent that I did it on hey, purpose. I'm a jazz boy. Uh, <laughs> uh, what I did was unkind, I think, more than anything. I think Riz Carlton. Riz Daniels. I call him Riz Carlton. He went by a couple different names. Like your dad, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He was, yeah, my dad. So. When oh. did Riz become a thing? Oh, yeah. Uh, what time is you it? You truly are an old hag. It was probably... I, know. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, think I wrote it down listen. in my journal. Let me... <laughs> yeah, my, when you're like, there's this journal? thing, there's, there's quality I've possessed and the kids have finally put a word around it. Exactly. You're like, yeah. they finally, I know how to describe myself mm. in these streets. Is so it a TikTok it? thing? Now I'm really sounding like a oh hag. Oh, my God. Yeah. I, th well, I think all TikTok slang comes from the real world, from other, from other people. And then the TikTok kids I think kids the pick real world comes from TikTok. It, it was yeah, TikTok first, then uh, creation. Isn't everything Reddit? Isn't it all That's Reddit? That's what I think. That's what everyone says, but you don't know if it's true. Everything mm. is either... It's like either, saying, you know, it's, for, it's the Big Bang. It's Reddit. It's like, everything's either the Fantasy you know. Baseball Reddit or the Bachelor Reddit. What about mm, Am I the, the Asshole? Two genders. Oh, yeah. that, that too. Those yeah. are the two genders. Yeah. I, I'm I the Asshole. That's a... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you big? Were you ever on a Reddit fifty fifty? That was big when I was in college. No, fifty fifty. What was that? Oh, it was like I a, was on Reddit. It was like a concealed. It was like a concealed image, and he said, "All right, this is either going to be a baby playing with a puppy, or it's going to be a severed finger." And then you click on it to see like the, what it. And you're like, out to "Damn be. it, a baby oh. playing with a puppy." Yeah. <laughs> Shit. I wanted to see that finger. <laughs> yeah. So, what's everyone's uh, favorite? Um, uh, um, Neil Gabby, <laughs> Gabby just throws up. <laughs> you know, I can't do this anymore. Considering this is our 101st episode, I didn't really prepare for this. No. Well, well do you well, guys have favorite memories from the pod? Ooh. Ooh. Dobbins and I are the hosts now. Yeah. yeah. I oh liked all the times I've called Lucas gay. <laughs> It's one of the meanest, funniest things you can say to a person. <laughs> it is pretty well, Can I say it? Because it's so bad and can wrong. I, can I tell you? Can I tell you something? So last night, Are you gonna I, come out? I'm. Oh, hey, this is my moment. No, but last night I roast battled uh, Sonny Laprod. <gasps> oh yeah. And uh, I did a joke that like got a, it didn't do that well, and then immediately uh, Sonny said, "Good one, F slur," and it crushed. That's. <laughs> It was yeah. amazing. That will do it. Oh, yeah, it was so do good. It. Yeah. Do you guys uh, well have favorite timed. memories from our pod? Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. Let me think. Probably when I came on with Antoine. That was we, a good one. We talked about a lot of stuff. Yeah. We talked about uh, getting hooked up with him? a catheter. Oh, and and him with his emails and how he throws them away. Or oh, something. he shreds them. He no, shreds he his emails. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why Hillary, Hillary can take a note from Antoine Nasrella. <laughs> yeah. She really can. Because that Truly. guy's got it right. 
God. We really, yeah. we oh, my favorite memory from the pod is actually when the queen died live on the pod. That was, that may have been my favorite as well. How do you guys, guess. if you guys were no, in the it moment, was just us. how did you know? Well, I was checking my phone to be like, you were checking your die. phone. We had heard that she was, that, that there, something was going to happen, that she was in the I'm hospital. I'm going to check my we were, phone and see what happened right now. She's come back to life. Yeah. Oh. It's the ADHD. It's, you know it. They could freeze her. Oh, shit. Freeze the queen. Princess Di died a few years ago. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Nah, oh, so, man. Wait, what? Yeah. As long as Michael Jackson's still alive, that's fine. Mm. Do you think I'll remember my old Tumblr password? Ooh, it's probably like Princess dumb Di bitch deserved too. it! Exclamation point one. <laughs> she deserved. I mean, were you? I'm not going to say that. Tumblr girl? Wait, what were you going to say? What were you going to say? <laughs> ah, who? Something about women shouldn't be driving. But then I remembered she doesn't know how to drive. <laughs> 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 no, I of course was a big Tumblr girl. What was oh. your like aesthetic? I was on Tumblr a little bit, but I was big. <laughs> what, was, what was Tumblr exactly? It was like you post a photo. Well, I think it's on little... the brain right now because you said everything's Reddit, and my instinct is to be like everything is Tumblr, oh. and then Reddit picks that up, right? right and right. then all the other social medias yeah. get it. Mm. Yeah. But to me, so the Tumblr the top that trickles everything down. I think I think Reddit and Tumblr for different Tom uh, sectors. From MySpace. Oh yeah. Oh, that I mean time. chronologically, but we're talking about influence. But inf you don't think For he's internet influential? Culture. He had the whiteboard. Oh, he did have that whiteboard. He had the whiteboard, and he was you know MySpace, and they made it. What's the whiteboard? Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, wait, we're Gabby and I are so behind. You need to teach us. You guys don't know MySpace? I I've I've heard of her work. I know I MySpace, but I, her work. <laughs> I don't know her that well. Justin Timberlake tried to bring her back. You know, do really? a little bit of. What's that? I remember it had you know, like a recent... choking in you. Yeah, <laughs> you do that yeah. to him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember like ads for it a few years ago. They were trying to bring it back. Like it was supposed to be like the social media for musicians, but then it never caught on. Oh, up. right. Uh, yeah, yeah. But were you on MySpace? Oh, yeah. I had a top eight friends, yeah. It was political. Yeah. Mm. It was very political because you, you were have in the to... Bush campaign? Every... Well, yeah. I was canvassing going, we didn't find the weapons, but they're there. Do, yeah. do today's kids, high schoolers still have like ways to be like you know like metrics to be ranking each other's friendships like we had with like myspace oh. or facebook stuff at like oh you were married to this person like are there with See, instagram and mobile t-mobile you had your top five you had your top five are there still ways to create like uh attention and competition in friend groups through social media uh well uh, uh posting about bringer shows is a good one <laughs> <laughs> you know all the high schoolers posting about bringer yeah, shows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love to see a stand-up show that's all 14-year-olds. <laughs> Not because I'm a pervert. I just think they're saying interesting things. Meredith would love redacted, to see a redacted. show that's <laughs> all. No, I agree with you, actually. 14-year-old material? Yeah. I think there would be a lot of fun, like, y'all have homework kind of thing. Yeah. And I'd be like, yes, I do. You have, oh, can I say one of my favorite moments on uh, the podcast was when you did your joke from when you were 10, like the first time. <gasps> You ever oh, did, and it was a good joke. Yeah. And I was like, God damn, Gabby, that was really good. What was it? Oh, it was, um, I'll do sort of an abbreviated version, but okay, um, I went to the orthodontist and I thought it was crazy <laughs> that they make you fill out all these forms and they say stuff like, Are you pregnant? Are you nursing? I mean, I'm 10 years old, I'm not even married yet. <laughs> That's awesome. Isn't that so fun? And the idea of hearing that coming from a 10 year old. Oh my God, that would be so cute. I would have lost my shit. I'll be like, oh, she's going to, she's going to be on Did you, did you say that somewhere? Yeah. I was at my fifth grade talent show and it fucking murdered, oh, dude. Oh uh, my God. People were coming up to me left and right. People are still remembering that think, I peaked. Do your parents ever go, God damn, we knew you were going to be big that moment. Did they, did they still talk about it? They yeah. do still talk about it. I would have lost it. my shit if that was my kid. They I would talk be about so it, proud. but not in the context of like, you're going to be big. They talk about it as in like, that was really good. <laughs> Which that one I moment. think is different. That's you had so one sweet. moment of fame, it's downhill for me. No. Then did you, did you like do stand up as like a teen and in college and stuff? A couple of times, yeah. Okay, so you in, always knew. I did it in college. I would I would do the most psycho thing. I would do I went to college in the city, so I would do bringer shows, but not mics. I mean, I think that's oh. how a lot of people get scammed. Yeah. yeah, that's how I got scammed bad. But like my parents lived in the city, so I just have them come oh, and like wait. So daddy brains. bailed you out. <laughs> <laughs> Always. I mean, how do you think I got to Coachella? <laughs> did, did you go to Coachella? I did. Just got back. <laughs> she just got back. Just got did back you see yesterday. Jai Paul? I didn't see Jai Paul, unfortunately. I'm sorry. I saw Charlie XCX and a bunch of other people. Oh, what? A, oh, you hate gay people? <laughs> Jai Paul, he could be. Yeah, but. He could totally be something like that. Jai. <laughs> <laughs> he 
He could be one of yeah. Do you like Do you like Jai Paul? Oh yeah. Who else oh, do you like? It's pretty much him. His brother. <laughs> <laughs> What's his brother? Hi Paul. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Logan. <laughs> Sean Paul. <laughs> 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 the, the third Paul brother who's sick at beats. <laughs> oh, I wish I could have seen him. God. Yeah, it was great. But my friend who's like really into music, he's like, I would see him anywhere except Coachella. Why I'm not like, Coachella? He's against it. What? Just in general. Like Kylie Jenner. Mm. He's against it. Yeah, anti Coachella. Outfit. And you. And Same me. Outfit, yeah. Anti Coachella. Mm. Never been. Anti Exactly. Yeah. Anti Cha. Mm. Anti Cha. When are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. When are you going to give up? Uh, stand huh? up. <laughs> give up what? Stand up. <laughs> I mean, it's just like I started a. <laughs> Cappy hated that. She let it out. Let the coffee dribble out down your chin, bitch. You can't. You can't. Do you, can you put, start a timer on your phone that has years in it? <laughs> <laughs> can I just click 10 and just. I think you could set like a Wait, calendar date. Yeah, do you have a countdown so of a, do I don't. Do years. That'd be so I mean, You might funny. have to get a, pay, a paid one, mm. you know? Yeah. Putting timer. comedy, you know, death clock. Do you remember your first joke? Oh, God. Nah, this is on a 24 hour. Good yeah, one. God damn it. Uh, you can set that's a calendar annoying. thing. What's what's a what's a date that scares you? Three, two, one. March fifteenth, the Ides of March. Okay. I thought you were gonna say three, two, one. Like, oh yeah, March twenty one. Yeah, March twenty first. Yeah. March fifteenth, and then um, name a number one through ten. Nine. Okay, March fifteenth, nine years from now. Nine. That's all you're giving me. That is all you gave yourself. Oh my <laughs> god! I didn't know that's what it was. I thought it was a random thing. <laughs> Yeah, you're oh easily you got, uh, you know, Oh, we're just having fun picking numbers. You know? I, I thought that's what it was. And this naivete, was... this is why you're not going to make it in the biz. Oh my! It's cut through. Do you know how much? You got a deadline. Do you know how much competition I'm taking out just by putting calendar dates of being like, you guys have to quit stand up by this day, by March fifteenth. Can what's you do nine it for years? all of us? Sure. Okay, Gabby. Um, what's the date tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> That was coming. I didn't. I knew that was getting. Yeah, 421. Oh, whoa. 421. Happy 420. Blazer. Oh my god. Yeah, we didn't even. I forgot that. Did it you was guys not discuss that? No, no that oh. didn't discuss that. How many guests have you had on here uh, today? Too many. No, I was just here. Did you run through a lot of people? So we it contacted a lot you of people. You ran train on it last. Yeah, we ran the trains. Um, <laughs> you ran, you ran a train on all of our guests. My God. <laughs> and that's that's all right because it's live. <laughs> it's legal if it's live, right? That's it. That's a thing. <laughs> yeah, if it's hidden, you can't yeah, do yeah. it. It's a, it's a, it's a loophole. Yeah, we, yeah. We, you guys are the only guests. And then we might FaceTime in Aaron Abelot Clemens. He thought that we were, yeah, he, for some reason, he thought that we were still recording at my apartment. And so he was like, oh, I can just walk over. Oh, oh big angel. mistake, buddy. Yeah. You're going to have to do the big M goof. to the big goof. Yeah. You, don't you don't live here? Do the M to the one, no, buddy. Okay. You don't live at stand right up in the New corner. York. <laughs> That's why it smells like popcorn. Yes. Oh, uh, good, good, call, good callback. But then, why, it shouldn't it smell I more like asparagus. Freshly pop. <laughs> <laughs> Does pee smell like asparagus? Because I think asparagus. It does is when pretty. I do it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 You know, I know. Can I tell you? Uh, in the times that I have no. eaten asparagus and then been so bold as to pee, I have not smelled asparagus in the pee. Really? I have not. Have you ever? I had asparagus the other day. No, I definitely smell asparagus in your pee. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> Thank you. I don't yeah. I don't think I eat that much asparagus. Yeah. Also, my pee's always like crystal clear. Why? With like flecks of like, with flex of, like blood well red. Hydrated? Are you a well hydrated gal? Oh, yeah. How much yeah. lake water are you drinking? <laughs> Lake water, I was probably about eighty percent of the water that I'm drinking. Really, Up those numbers. And so Let's I'm peeing. I'm I'm peeing a lot. And there's twenty percent puddle. Twenty percent puddle. Eighty <laughs> percent lake. And what? Is, and what is a puddle? Diarrhea. Ninety percent luck. Forty percent skill. Fifteen percent concentrated. A crick. That's right. Oh yes. Lake water. Diarrhea. Uh, that can't sounds lose. so good. I listen to that in gym sometimes. I do think a puddle is something of a city lake. Oh, David, mm. you go to the a gym. A small DIY. I sometimes go. Yeah. Strong. I'm I've myself. been trying to. Be a crop puddle. Yeah. Never mind. Break it down for me. You said city state, and my mind went Acropolis. You ever think of textbook shit? Let's move on. Anyway. Mm. I do. Mm. Okay, train boy. This guy's yeah. learned. That's what we mean by running trains. Oh. Train boy. Train, yeah. <laughs> I'm a motherfucking train boy. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the weekend. He's good. He likes that. He likes trains. <laughs> the weekend. What's his name? Abel? <laughs> Is, is that his real name? His what? name is Abel. His name is Abel. His Abel Lock Clemens. 
<laughs> That's the weekend, bro. He's crazy. <laughs> he's so crazy. Yeah, uh, he's got a new show out, The Idol. The or Idol? He's going to have a show out. It's supposed to be terrible. Like American Idol? No, it's like kind of a Sam Levin. It's like a Euphoria type show. But is it's he a, in it? Oh yes, yes. Rachel Sennett. Yeah, That's is it I with high school? Played by Aaron Avila, <laughs> <laughs> who we're calling Weak Bit. <laughs> it's God. It's just some kind of like, ju- like horrible. Like they like almost canceled the whole production kind of show. What happened? Um, COVID. Was <laughs> <laughs> it that dang COVID? Sorry, what? <laughs> it's this thing that's going around. <laughs> Is it still? Ever heard of it? It's on Tumblr. I, people are getting COVID again, but like the last time I had COVID, like I just took mushrooms in my house and I was fine. Oh, okay. It was kind of great. Oh. You did took mushrooms for uh, two weeks? For your COVID? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't stay in my house for two weeks. You stay for like five days now. That's what Robinette says. Is that the new thing? Yeah. You, if you get COVID, you're supposed to like Just a work week? Like That's actually perfect. It's a work week. Exactly. Yeah. Just get sick on Monday. Yeah. Make yeah. sure you do. And if you don't. When's the last time I've been like, COVID? When do you right summer? Now? When do you COVID? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Do, you, uh, do you have COVID right now? Um, <laughs> <laughs> that should have been the first question. Yeah, I, mean, I feel like oh. I was hitting on me. She's like, That's "Hey, do you have any COVID in you? Do, do you, you want, want some? some? <laughs> do you guys want to take this podcast to the street? Yes, and then start asking people that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, you're on. Do you have COVID? <laughs> <laughs> do you have COVID? Come on, <laughs> that would be so fun. You're you're live on. Do you have COVID? Do I have- by Nickelodeon? <laughs> Do I have COVID? Yeah. <laughs> Does I'm my going on the jumbo truck. <laughs> yeah. Does my cousin have COVID right now? You're, yes or no? <laughs> you're on Show Me Your Medical Records. <laughs> That's a good show. Oh I'd watch God. that. Do you guys have your medical records? I don't um, know what people, when people say medical records. What are they talking you about? Got, you got to get your life together. I got it on Dropbox. You got to get all your medical. Yeah. What are you allergic to? Ooh. Me. Jesus, you're going to die. This, I can't what wait. What is going on? What am I allergic to? I don't know. UTIs? Love. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they hurt. <laughs> they fucking hurt. UTIs, yeah. yeah. Tall men. Uh, I, I like them short. When I eat yeah. asparagus, I get a UTI. Oh, I don't know what that's about. <laughs> they say you're either a, 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 a yeast infection girl or a UTI girl. Really? Oh. You don't get both? Which one are you? Uh, I'm a yeasty girl. You're a yeasty girl? Are you a UTI mm. girl? You very much I'm a so. beastie boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did have a yeast infection. Uh, <laughs> can, I, can I tell you something? A little discovery I found out? Oh. It was it was not a yeast infection. It was <gasps> just eczema. What? Inside yeah. of your dick? <laughs> <laughs> and I pissed it out, baby, right in the corner. Are you serious? You no, it was like it was like on my thigh. It was like on the thigh. That's it was, so you easy. That Do you have any it. pictures? Like, <laughs> yeah, let's see. Let's yeah, pull whoa, it up. that's yeah, crazy. See? I'd love to yeah, see no, that. Yeah, no, but it uh, it turned out it literally was just that. Yeah, really. And I know because I had a biopsy done. Isn't that what you do? Oh, autopsy. Yeah, <laughs> I was, that's what I was, I was like, oh my God, you died. Yeah, what's a biopsy? Can I get an autopsy just to yeah, figure yeah, out? Just recreationally. Just like Can I know. ask for an autopsy? I'd love to know. Yeah, just yeah, on the you low. Gotta know. On the low. No, yeah, I had to. It was like a little bit <laughs> of my. You're going to die from. <laughs> oh, I love that. Would you, if so, if you could find out mm. how you were going to die, would you want that information? Well, or I'm not? clairvoyant, so I probably will know. How okay. do you, oh, how do you think David's going to die? Um, not for a long time. No, it's going to be something righteous. Yeah. It's going to be a battlefield. It's going to be for a cause. I think we actually for brought sure. up it's David Dobbins' for a cause name. You're a martyr type. It's yeah. a cause, but it's going to be on the wrong side of history. Like, mm. I believe something, but it was actually, it turned on out. On the side of the Confederates. Yeah, <laughs> it turned out you were, like, you got a lot of loyal. <laughs> you were really loyal, but you just didn't really, it was going to be one of those things. Yeah. Shout you know? out to Dan Wicks. One time we were talking about, I asked him, how would you want like the person you hate most in the world to die? And he said, well, I would want her to kill herself, but before doing it, I'd want her to scream something really racist first. <laughs> and it is, he did, he made a point to say her. Yeah. That's what I was saying. I was like, what, what do you think Dan Wicks is going to hate a man? <laughs> <laughs> Not as much as he hates this one woman. He wants to say oh. something really racist. Wait, does, do people have to be around to hear it? If 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 oh, someone yes. if a woman Dan Wicks hates says something racist in the forest, but no one's around to hear it, is he okay? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's just like the best way for like someone you don't like to go because then they don't get the legacy of being like a martyr. You know. Hmm. Hmm. Isn't that beautiful? That's Anyone's really. Or, wow. or we, Dan Wicks is a woke poet. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> he really is. He really wow. is. He's going more poet. He's getting more rings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's he's, true. Yeah, he's, he's becoming a little bit of an urban poet. But in terms of when we're all going to die, I actually think, David, your name was brought up recently of people who like are not going to die for a long time. Ever. Really? Never going to die. You yeah. have... I'll do the stuff. I'll upload it. Yeah. You know, I'll upload it. But you better have Verizon if you're going to do that. Yeah, that's true. You know true. what I mean? Yeah. Wait, upload the stuff? Wait, upload the... Upload my consciousness, consciousness to the oh, car. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Stay with us, bro. No, I'm sorry. Hey. I mean, it's like me. the... I come on this. It's a tech podcast. <laughs> Let's talk about AI. Now, <laughs> no, but I'm just saying, if you're uploading your your consciousness, right? Yeah, you're yeah, fading yeah. away. You're like, upload quick, quick, quick. Mm. You know? You better have Verizon. I'd love to if have you. Have, I'd love your brain in chat GPT. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And they think it's a robot, dogs. but it's really me. Yeah. Just writing some real terrible stuff. I want his yeah. brain in my dad's body. <laughs> okay, we can do, do you that. Know, do you know that? How strong is your dad? Do you know that? <laughs> what does your dad bench? <laughs> I think, I genuinely think my you dad think? is weaker than you. <laughs> no, but dads have a strength that's just from. If I was trapped under a car, I think my dad would be able to lift the car up. You really? know, the adrenaline? To lift yeah. you back and to lift it back down. And and just smash it down. I thought there was only single mothers could do that. <laughs> hey, Mr. Mom, my single dad could do that. Okay, yeah. Child of divorce. Now we're back. He had oh. sole custody. I think that man can lift Your the car. Your dad had custody? I know. Oh, that's why you're, a, that's why you're yeah. a guy's yes. girl. Oh, you know what That's happened? why I'm a guy's girl. Meredith mm. was on the stand and they asked, who do you want to live with? Your mom or your dad? And she was like, I'm not living with a chick. There's too much drama. <laughs> <laughs> too much. I get along better with guys. Yeah. <laughs> I just yeah. get less drama. She was like, chicks are so much less drama. drama. <laughs> it is drama. And I remember when I was growing up, me and my sister shared a bathroom. It's just so much makeup. Oh. So much makeup. It's like, yes, get out of God. What What did you try to put on the sink? Besides, if, if she, if it wasn't a stereo, there. large stereo. <laughs> I think the the biggest thing. So I could play Leonard Skinner, Simple Man. <laughs> <laughs> I literally I said that because I just discovered that song on Spotify. Nice. <laughs> and dude, it rocks, bro. That song is sick. He's telling his oh. son, he's like, just be simple, son. Just don't. Embarrass me, <laughs> and that's so advice you never even needed. Never You've been just on that path and never strayed. Were, were the bathrooms different between like your dad's and your mom's houses? Oh yeah, dad's way cleaner. Whoa, oh. way cleaner because my mom she had her own bathroom in my oh, mom's house. Yeah. So the and she had know, a lot of makeup in that bathroom. She well, no, nah, she was pretty minimalist. She oh. would, she just had one thing, a tweezer. <gasps> those, my mom's tweezing. She used to get yeah, mom's little chin tweezing. hairs. You know what oh, I mean? Did she have a beard like yours? Kind of, yeah. yeah. But more blonde. But more she, blonde. 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 But, she used to, <laughs> but she used to get rid of them. But I think now she's getting older. She's like, fuck the bullshit. You know yeah. what I mean? This, can I this thing see me? Fuck the bullshit, dude. Yeah. You know? But I think plucking chin Be hairs. Hairy. It's not about, I don't care about the look of the hairs. There's something very satisfying about getting that thing out. Pulling it yes. out. It's about the activity. Have it's like how like a drunk always needs something in their hand. I need tweezers. I need to be. Right. I was tweezing on the way here. Yeah, yeah, you were on yeah. the one who, train. Who, wait, who are you tweezing? <laughs> <laughs> the conductor of the one train. I was like, why is this going so slow? And I take a back hair out. Oh, oh conductors, conductors are always hairy. hairy. They have to be. Oh, uh, you say that, but I've seen I've seen many. I beg to one. differ. I I've think seen, oh, I think yeah. they have to be aerodynamic. You dude. think the train yeah. would yes. go faster? Yes, the train goes faster. <laughs> <laughs> you can't the train goes way faster. <laughs> Whenever the train itself is wearing a wig, like no, no, please, I haven't. I'm on I'm on hymns. Old toupee. Uh, should we get into listener submissions? Oh yeah, let's do it. Should we call Aaron? Yes. yes. Give him a ring. I'm gonna try and put and let's put him into him. the mic. Did they ask me to eat a bagel on mic? I can't remember. Um. Yeah, we did ask that. Excellent. Okay. All right. <laughs> Sorry. What? <laughs> I what looked happened? over at the camera and, and it was, it was a zooming on you. Oh, hello. It was. One bite. Not too, not too shy. Oh, hello. What's up? He's Everyone like, say what's up, Seacrest. Hello. Come. Is this just audio? Yeah. What's oh, up, Seacrest? <laughs> wait, do you want to make it FaceTime? Okay, we can make it a FaceTime. Turn it on and uh, yeah. zoom in on this guy. Okay, no, t turn the camera around so we can see Aaron. I'm such a boomer. God. There we are. There we are. Hi. What's up? Okay, wait. Shouldn't the camera Could, face? No, wait, yeah, wait, no, I can't turn even, your phone. Can people even turn hear your, him? Wait, turn your phone oh, around like, so we can. Yeah. Turn, and then put, put turn it in front of phone. Jesus Christ. Give Everyone it. watching, turn your phone. There we go. Here we are. Hi, Aaron. What's Hi. up? Hello. I love him. How? Do you have COVID? Okay, wait. I'm gonna turn you around. Okay, we got it. <laughs> Do you have COVID? Or you not? look like you have COVID, dude. No, I don't have COVID. I'm on the clock. <laughs> so long, baby. COVID on the clock. Nice, <laughs> a bad boy. You got you got COVID at your work. 
That's fucked up. <laughs> Aaron's like, <laughs> the thing about yeah, we can. Dobbins and I can't just like walk and leave. Aaron can just hit hang up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he can bow out at any moment. I have to stay here. Bow out. No, he has to swipe his yeah, metro card like, when he when he hangs up. What? It's 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 me, Lucas, um, David Dobbins, What's and up? Meredith Dietz. Are you gaming right now? I thought you were gonna say, "Are you gay?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, but are you gaming? Aaron, I noticed you have a. Oh, I gotta oh, yell. No. Which okay. is good. I'll, I'll ask him what well, you want. We're saying the best stuff. Aaron, I saw that you you have a husband, right? Are you gay? <laughs> yes or no? I comment. <laughs> yes, you can do yes, no, or non. What NA? What's yeah. that one? Blink yeah. three times for the camera if you need help. No, he's. What if I blink twice? What would you do? <laughs> yeah. We'd call the. What's it right below the cops? Uh, city, firefighters? Fire department. City, yeah. A. A. We call Where City MD, probably. <laughs> oh my god, you're so strong. You, you, do have some, you do have some muscle. I pre- do you want arm yeah. muscle? Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, we can do it. The winner gets your girlfriend. Let's do <laughs> <laughs> Well, you mean the square or the... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, we're, we're, uh, we're throwing a lot of references. How are you doing, uh, Aaron, today? I'm doing good. Beautiful. I don't <laughs> that's fair. That's really fair. We threw him in the middle of this. Yeah. So many inside jokes threw of a crew. In the we're we're having you on because we love you and because it's our 101st episode and you've been such an integral part of the podcast. But You're a fan favorite. Can you hear this? Fan favorite. Uh, I- Well, indeed. So, shall we get into it? Yeah, let's get sure. into it. Perfect she never transition. answers my I, messages either. Uh, I can oh. pull it up on Lucas's uh, phone. Okay, you know wait. Angle password? it to my face so we can do the unlocking. Oh, Come on. There wow, we go. that okay, really okay. works pretty good. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yes, Aaron, we're recording. Okay. Wow. Um. Okay. Hey, meerkats. I've got a bit of a predicament. Jesus. Uh, this person uses she, her. I'm coming to the end of my freshman year of college. Unfortunately, I've made some amazing friends and I already know who I will be living with next year. The problem is the person who I plan to be direct roommates with will call them B, they, them. B and I are super close friends and have an awesome relationship. At some point in our friend group, this inside joke started that B and I are having a secret gay love affair. Obviously, it's a joke because B is in a four-year committed relationship now here's the problem i think i actually am attracted to b it's more in a sexual physical way than romantic i am afraid living together with them next year is going to cause tension and i don't know what to say b is very open about their sex life and has mentioned being interested in non-monogamous sexual relationships so i feel very conflicted on if i should tell them how i feel any opinions on this situation would be great thanks fuck mary kill a squared b squared c squared <laughs> what are you gonna do um, so she has the hots. She has the hots for her roommate, but not. You know, I don't want to be long term. Rectangle thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I Just got you. In and out. Yeah. yeah. Aaron, what do you, Aaron? What do you think? Do you want to start? No, I don't want to start. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, okay. I I'm pro sexual tension. Seeing how things play out. I'd rather everything be messy over boring. And I'm not projecting from my past experience <laughs> at all. I would rather my life be like fucking new girl than mm. than what Seinfeld. Well, what is B? Do you think B is into this this? Lady? Well, B is in a committed relationship. But, for B, yeah, but years. B, yeah, but that could end. But B has yeah. been dropping yeah. hints about wanting to be non-monogamous. Oh. But then you're living Wait, with that person. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Okay, maybe you, uh, the person who wrote it, maybe you drop hints that you want to be non-monogamous. And be like, hey, this is, hey, my my radius is short, so like, yeah, yeah. definitely say my radius is short. <laughs> we'll definitely say that. I'm this, trained, boy, baby. <laughs> it's gonna get him wet. This that's, all sounds that's... very like horny and sinful. Does the college you have have like a Christian youth chapter or something so you can find so God? So you can join, yeah, and and absolutely make everybody abstinent. So then, because if no one's having sex, everyone is. You know that's what I right. mean? Yes, that's, that's true. Right. That's, that's how soaking so started. True. Oh yeah, try soaking. We we yeah. we go to BYU. Oh yeah, forgot about that. We we talked about the soaking, Bayou. I think, on the episode. <laughs> <laughs> How have I not called the Bayou by now? Bayou. What the fuck? Soaking. I, I do love soaking. Mm. <laughs> do, you, do you do it? Yeah, it's super fun. You can lead a horse to soak. I like soaking because it's like <laughs> <laughs> soaking's like 
it's like it makes it turns sex into like a competition of it's like who can last longer, you know, mm. in the soaking position. Oh, that's you, like you know what I mean. You like well, the competitive aspect. You're like I need to win. I, absolutely. Yeah. It's like me or the hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> that's tough. Um, I just heard Aaron well, do a guy, little laugh. Any final thoughts, Aaron, on uh, on this lovely person? Um, no, I wasn't listening to this one. <laughs> <laughs> He asked for the submissions. Dude, I swear you're gaming right now. Are you playing RuneScape? How much RuneScape are you playing? Be honest. And what skill are you developing? Are you killing, are you killing rats? Because that's as far as I got in that game. Yeah, maybe one day. We, I feel like we didn't give this person any advice. Um, I don't know. I mean, like... I can, you can, can they cancel the lease? Can they cancel it? Uh, it's a freshman year. I don't know if it's, it's that's, I, be that's what a situation. lot of bureaucracy you're gonna have to go through to cancel. Yeah. Oh, I also tape. think sexual tension can fade, and I would not make make my decisions. Yes, of where I'm gonna live on the off chance. I would. You really would. I would it if could, I were. The, that's a no, very like risk averse. I don't think I'm a risk averse person in that kind of decision mm. making. I'm like I think I'll I would rather see how things play out and see if, and keep it in my pants and live with sexual frustration mm. than just like avoid it altogether. And then how do you explain it to that person? I can't sleep mm. with you because I'm. To, I can't live with you because I want to sleep with you. Yeah, that's a good point. And then they're like, but what about our friendship? I say you keep it in the pants. Remember why you're friends. I think the four-year committed relationship, like you probably have to assess like what the like, what B's partner is feeling about all this because if B's like, I want to be non-monogamous, but like, or sorry, if B's like, I want to be non-monogamous, but their partner's like, I want to be mono I want desperately to be monogamous, then you probably can't fuck with yeah. that. Also, ha so has this person who wrote it, have they met B's partner? Is the, is Have they entered as a character? Or are they strictly tertiary? Mm. Um, B's partner has not been mentioned at all, which seems pretty significant. Oh, hey. yeah. Gabriella, what have you done to your coffee cup? I'm just tear I'm just picking it apart. <laughs> what that mouth do? What hey. that mouth do? I'm being trained Chomp. girl right now. Oh my god! I know. Yeah, yeah that's that, gross. You no, know, that's good. That's good actually. Take but it yeah. down. I say. Uh, Aaron, look a... what I did to my cup. <laughs> what did you do? To you bit it? Yeah. Well, Wait, Aaron, spell I cup. It's going to go in a landfill otherwise, so... <laughs> <laughs> you got to take yeah. it down. Aaron, do you, do you remember the first time you watched Two Girls, One Cup? Um, I don't remember what day it was. I remember watching it. You say the first time, like, I kept coming back to it. <laughs> yeah, you watched it every... <laughs> the first... Do you oh. remember the first time this morning that you watched? Before I realized it was my thing, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I guess you wouldn't remember the date like it's 9-11. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you? It was on 9-11, though. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so okay. I think we uh, helped this person out. Yeah. Yeah, I think we, I I would think we crushed say it. If it's not like a high-level priority I got to smash, then just live with them. Yeah. yeah. But if it's high-level priority, top of the list, then get out of there. You know what I mean? We're, yeah. we're some smart folks. Get Hell out yeah. of there. All right, what's, what's next up? I'm looking forward to listening to the next one. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> I love this bit you're doing. Bit. <laughs> um, okay. I also miss a bit of the audio, to be honest, so that didn't help. But I feel like I can catch this next one. All right. Okay. Um, hey, okay. No more funny business. Let's just listen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is an interesting one, and this is real. What do you do? Yeah. This is great real. intro. <laughs> this is real. <laughs> That's to make someone believe. True story. True story. <laughs> what do you do to pick yourself up when you truly feel like you can't go on? I'm just so tired. I'm approaching my th end of my third year of college, and I feel like I'm running on empty. I'm sure a lot of people feel this way, so I feel bad for complaining, but I feel like shit. I'm not quite sad, but I'm not happy. I'm just tired of everything, and I need some advice on getting out of this slump. Is this your demo? Is college sad college kids? Kind of. <laughs> yeah. demo is children. <laughs> <laughs> You make it sound really sinister when you say it. It's kind of sinister what we're doing. It is pretty bad. <laughs> yes. No, Does anyone have an instant answer to that? To how to get oh, out of a slump? Go on, say it again. Me? Oh, I would say my answer for this person, really, it has so many factors. Like, what what is important to them? You know what I mean? Like, what what are the things that, you know, they have passion for and... You know, I, I would tailor it to, like, what that person, like, wants in life and what those interests are. And, I don't know, they should cling to those and the the people that they care about. I, is this, like, a, okay, is this, like, an energy thing? Like, I need, like, motivation? Or is this, mm -hmm. like, a, um... 
I think they're depressed. I think, so. I think it's, I think it's a, uh, yeah. They sound like kind of lonely and like they don't have a lot of like, they don't want to do anything and they got a lot of work to do because it's college. I think this person should have sex with their roommate. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Get them in there. When in doubt, make Get that nut. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was utterly confused and depressed in college. Yeah, I'm glad you grew out of that. Yeah, <laughs> into into a deeper into a deeper depression. Yeah, I grew into it. Um, You'll grow into it. But then I, I I'm trying to think of what felt good and bad to hear then, and what always felt bad, which is the first advice that goes in my head is like stuff like my dad being like, "In a year from now, you'll be fine," or like, "When you're 40, you won't even remember this." And I'm like. Well, you're kind of undermining how I feel right now. Yep. And I do not I know you can see over this hill. I cannot. I don't know what this hill even feels like. Yeah. And also when you're college age, like everything you feel is pretty much the first time you're ever feeling anything. It's most like raw, undistilled, distilled form of every fucking unfiltered. experience. Unfiltered yeah. experience of every emotion. So you're just like, you don't there's no like uh, previous experience to point to to be like, oh well I ever got over that hill in the past. No, every hill's yeah. every hump. Every hump's the biggest hump. Um, and you can take that out of context. <laughs> yeah. You can take that as a challenge. I don't give a fuck. We're going to clip that. And you can cl- I don't know. I think... Um, New ringtone. I think, Aaron, is, it's true, though. It is really specific to what you're doing. Like, for me, I feel like... Um, like, this is so silly, but, like, like, walking around the city and going on, like, long runs and stuff was, like, huge for me for... Um, starting to feel better because it's like any anything that's like the illusion of movement, booking solo travel, doing things where like you're kind of going forward even if you don't know where you're going. That was always very helpful for me, but mm. that can be a privilege. That's great advice. What do you think, Dobbs? I, add, I think that's like, correct. You will figure it out. Like I know that's a, it, it. It doesn't feel good to hear to this listener, but it's like Time all of us just being a few years yeah. older than you are. Like it's going to get so much better. Every year since I've been like 17 has gotten better than the last. Every year has been less angsty and more rel- like certain, and it's been it just it does get better for me. It's been like freaking linear. Mm. Sorry, it's called, growth. it's called growth. And this person's gonna do it. You, you hear me, listener? You're gonna grow. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna grow so much. <laughs> you started genuine. <laughs> You're gonna grow. You're gonna grow. Or so just hard. Well, have like sex with your roommate and ruin yeah. everything. Yeah. That'll be a good well, hobby. This person, like, are they getting the baseline stuff? That's the thing. Like, are they yeah. going outside? Yeah. Are they getting the Watering. sun? Yeah. Are yeah. they getting a ring light on their face? Yeah. Are you not only day? burning bridges but mm. drone striking them? Yeah. 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 You gotta yeah. get the ring light on your face. Are you getting? Yeah. Are you lifting, make content? Yeah. Are you lifting oh. weights two times a day? <laughs> <laughs> You live twice a day? No, no, that would be, I, it would be hard, but yeah. it would be really worth it. And I will quit my job and I'll quit <laughs> yeah. comedy. Once I, nine years from now, yes. I'll be doing two a days. Oh yeah. yeah. yeah Cause be, I lift once every two weeks and that feels great. That's enough. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> once a that's fortnight I'll, yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Face unlocked. One there more. We go. See this. So this one's a fun one. This one's encouraging and it's honestly, I think more of a comment. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> So a while ago, just for context, we had oh, we, this one made me we smile. gave some advice to a listener that like completely backfired. It was like a closeted gay listener who was in love with his best friend, and then we were like, "You should tell him because it seems like the things your best friend is doing back are pretty gay." Like oh, they like no. spent New Year's together cuddling, like basically. Oh naked. yeah, camping Whoa. and spooning. They ca- fucking they were they cuddling went, naked. They went camping, and spooning together, like basically naked, but like both of them were kind of closeted and religious. And, and the other guy was back. very Christian, very it's Christian back. guy. <laughs> Yeah. Brokeback yeah. Mountain. They, they, are they, they packing you? <laughs> are they telling you read the script for Brokeback Mountain? It was and asking what, from beyond. Yeah, what? And then we gave some advice, and then the listener wrote in, like, you told me to tell my best friend how I felt. Well, I told him, and uh, he doesn't speak to me anymore. No. So. Uh, but they were cuddling. <laughs> yeah, Aaron. <laughs> I'm this, I mean, this is just horrifying. <laughs> it is. Wait, wait, wait. So, so they, he was. They said we were cuddling, but we're both in the closet. And yeah. Then he told them I'm gay, and the other guy went, "No, yeah, 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 yeah." Oh my god! Oh my god! Well, that person just. 
Yeah. 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 That but but is... this new person wrote but in and silver and re- lining, yeah. silver lining. Hello, Meerkats. I'm a few episodes behind on the podcast, but I just wanted to say that even though your advice for the guy in love with his friend ended unfortunately for him, it gave me the confidence to ask out my friend, oh. and he said yes to see what happens, even though he's not sure he likes me romantically yet. This will be the first date I've ever been on, and the first time I've asked anyone out, and I don't think I could have done it without you or the other people who wrote in asking for advice. How cool oh. is that? Wow. That makes me smile. Oh well, let's not go too far. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> right. I never said love is love. <laughs> hate is hate. But um, that's that's so... Ins- how do you guys feel having that influence? It's really nice. Has it anything was- good ever happened to you guys? What do you mean? <laughs> no, that's a nice like because older sibling kind yeah. of feeling. And the advice? Because of the show or because of anything. What what effect mm. have we had on your life? Oh, a lot. I see you guys at open mics. She tries to distract me. Oh, she heckles she me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. I do a joke about ADHD, which we both suffer, and she's on in the front row. <laughs> 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 on her phone as I'm talking about it. <laughs> When David confronted me about that. Do you ever just point her and go exhibit A? Yeah, yeah, exactly. This this needs to study. This one. Pastor Take Dave made me a Christian. Science. When he confronted Give. me about this, I was really high. And I was like, no, David, I I love your comedy. Like, I was really sincere. Oh, this old excuse. Uh-uh. Yeah. Uh-uh. I don't yeah. like that. Yeah. I don't like that. I don't believe it. Um, Aaron, has anything good ever happened to you because of this podcast? Uh, no. <laughs> Oh yeah, remember when we outed Aaron as forgetting like who booked him on a show? Oh that yeah, was that was moment. crazy, and then we made a clip of it. We asked him to like uh, plug his show, and he was like, yeah, the show with Ryan Kersey and... That's so funny. Yeah. I that was a good moment. Uh, I had a... Oh, oh yeah, yeah getting the nice. interview jinx, that was... Monsoon? A drag queen, Jinx Monsoon, she's wonderful. Are you oh, not familiar? I didn't hear the first part. Jinx Monsoon. I just heard Monsoon, I didn't know what it was. And you were like, oh, well, you got canned. Oh, my God. We got batting on the hatches. Is it coming? <laughs> Indeed, we caused a little monsoon in your life. Has anything good happened to you because of us? Um, I got recognized like three times because of you guys. Wait, really? really? Yeah, it went on TikTok. Um, a, yeah, me too. Never been recognized. I'm going to say something. Me walking around these streets, I'm getting recognized anyways. You know, people are already turning their head, doing double you takes. Already, you have a TikTok presence, Meredith, though. Not one where I'm getting already. recognized. And though. yet here you are getting recognized. So it was it's... a co-worker for the first one, and he was like, saw you on that. And I was like, so you, you and I both know now <laughs> what my investment in this job is. <laughs> I was like, that kind of it was kind of a relief where like I didn't have to say it. Someone else, I was uh, coming from the Silly Goof mic. It was in um, it was in the park, and they were like, "Are you a comedian?" And I was like, "Are you a fan of my work?" And they're like, "No, the guy who does the John Mulaney." And I was like, "Fuck off!" Oh. <laughs> no, I was kidding. I was like, "Yes." I'm just finding out that I know you. <laughs> uh, yeah, have we met? <laughs> no, oh I like doing your guys' podcast. I think I did your guys' podcast at a time when I was fixing my stand up to get like looser, be a looser gooser. And really? Yes. And that um I think doing your pod really helped open my third eye in that respect. And now you're a very loose goose. You're riffy. I'm, I'm trying to riff. Oh, yeah, Look at the riff master right here. Well, but I go a little too loose sometimes. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you got to throw these underwear away. There's no waistband. The pants yeah. are holding the underwear. They're falling down. <laughs> down. <laughs> it's a little bacon situation. We're, we're all pretty riffy. Bacon waste. You guys are all very loose. I'm a little tight. I need to loosen up. I could loosen. I, think, I can stand to wear your underwear. Is what oh, I'm saying. Oh yeah, I'll give it to you. I Thank think you. of Aaron and Lucas is pretty scripted. Yeah. Then you, then me, then Pastor Dave. Yeah. yeah. Is how I would say in, from tight to loose. I agree. Yeah, I yeah, agree. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've tried to get less riffy. I was talking about Meredith and Dobbins, like the guests. Are oh. Loose. Mm, indeed. Very loose. Very loose gooses. It can be costly though. Yeah? Yeah. What if you lost? Remember your show? I misgendered that person? Oh. Body bag. <laughs> <laughs> Body bag. Body bag. Bad. 
It was too loose, and I was trying. I did it, and then I and then I was trying to make a joke about it, and I wouldn't let it go. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Would not let it go. Kept going. Well, what do we? How do we fix it now? <laughs> Do you remember? Oh, God, why? David, step out of the hole. Don't dig deeper. Don't. You salvaged the set, though. It did end well. It ended great. It ended well. But... What's the joke that you ended up something about ISIS? No. <laughs> the when idea in doubt, when in doubt, when the idea that ISIS? something about ISIS, ISIS was was the, the, the salvaging, like that was the solution. Yeah, yeah. That's so how bad. low was the set it that was so ISIS bad. was how you got ISIS people back on your side. Cheer, thank God, it's not the other thing. <laughs> <laughs> Finally moved on. Aaron, I think I think we're gonna let you go. Yeah, we should probably but, wrap up soon. Yeah, we have to put yeah. it down. We love you we and thank you for being an integral part of the Two Doors Your Cat Spot. Do you have any final words for us? Follow Super Smash Show on Instagram. No. <laughs> That's good. No. That's good. That's a cut, perfect cut time that, to plug. That. Cut that. Cut that out. Hey, That's good business. Never mind. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Oh, can we talk about how we really feel about him now? Yeah, yeah. now that he's gone. Let's Jesus let him, Christ. Let's let him have it. Um. Okay, final. Let's play a game. Um, <laughs> you want to play okay. a little game? Saw? What the fuck? Yeah. Um... Two t- truths. That, no. Oh um, God! Cut yourself out of this studio. How do you? How do you, you have me at cut yourself? <laughs> 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 I'm depressed. <laughs> After you just gave that whole speech to that person, every year's been better. <laughs> Can you imagine if someone's like, "I'm feeling depressed." My advice was like, "Have you tried cutting?" <laughs> yeah, it works. Yeah. It works. It gets atten- You want attention? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> how do you? How do you guys feel? <laughs> Great That's game, the game. Dude, I feel great like game. we usually end with like self perception corner. How has your self perception changed? But should we should we turn that on the hosts for the one on one episode? Yeah. Okay. 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 All with that. Well, Maybe. look at you guys hosting yeah. this pod up. You guys would be great podcast hosts. I just want to say that. Oh, yeah. he's already I got you one. got a pod. Yeah, S and D podcast. Yeah, S and D podcast prank calls. Okay, really I'll good. submit. I'll submit. To, I do a podcast. Have you ever? Jesus have you ever thought of this? This is disrespect. Yeah. Okay. I, I would say I was told I was going to be respected. I would love to be on your podcast. I'm also really scared of interacting with a real person. Trust mm-hmm. me, it's not even scary. Honestly, I, prank calling is the most cowardly thing you can do, and it's so fun. Yeah. Every every person it's, they call is in the next room, though, for yeah, you to fight. Yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah, they, we go like that. Fight them. I'm so I'm scared. I've been thinking about who people. I want to call eventually. I think, like, based off of my like aunt, I want to call like an herb shop. Your aunt is a really good person to call. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. <laughs> she prescribed you ADHD medication that she made <laughs> in her house, and it's just a weird liquid. <laughs> It's an old liquid. Is it lean? It's clear. It's clear. It's, it's clear, but it's Is it old. dark purple? And it makes you feel just a little bit weird. Right? Yeah. Yes. It makes you feel a little Maybe off. Maybe a little buzz. Have you guys ever smoked crack? Uh, <laughs> me neither. No, me neither. Do it live. Do Gabby, it live. self-perception. Yeah. I'd spark up. Self-perception. How's my self-perception changed? Um... Not very much. Um, I I do think that I come, like, I've thought a lot about it because I've done a lot of mushrooms. And I feel like the first Mm. time I answered this question, I was like, everyone thinks I'm, like, too much and too scattered. But now that I've met a bunch of comedians, I think people actually think I'm kind of stable, which is wrong. Uh, A hundred percent. I think of you as on the stable end of our friend groups. I know. I know. And that's, but but that is who you have to watch out for. (laughs) We have a horrible sample size. (laughs) (laughs) Because, like, now that I'm in, like, a professional development program, I'm, like, every and thinks I'm like crazy and I'm like oh this is like what normal people are like who like aren't comedians what's you professional know? development what does that mean well I, I call it that but it's the just the opposite a, of DP it's a fucking MFA <laughs> <laughs> hey. DP um, the NYPD I also think people think I'm smart but I don't think I'm smart I think I'm kind of dumb but like I think people don't feel that way about me and, and I, I don't think dumb people usually reflect in this way yeah. That's true. That's I think true. you have a baseline. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think I can think of like three people who actually have said like, I'm simple. And I'm like, and I, I trust you. <laughs> I yeah. think you're, you, I don't think of you as dumb. I think you guys very smart. That's what everyone says, but I don't get, I mean, I appreciate that. Um, and I do, I do think people see me and they're like, oh, like you're stable. You've got it going on, but like, you're just neurotic enough to kind of like, you know, have some sort of like reflectiveness on your life but like deep in my heart i'm like a lot more like neurotic and anxious than i let on i think and i also do think when people get to know me they know how kind of adhd 
neurodivergent mm. I am because like I don't really follow a through line ever with any conversation um and I think that sometimes I'll just like walk away when people are talking and then come back and be like what were you saying um <laughs> 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 what you get yeah. oh you're not stupid you're just rude <laughs> yeah just fucking what bitch. did I get what do you mean you, you get it because you're there with me you're, oh you're yeah, in yeah. my you're in my brain you you're know? in the square yeah I forget you're a lot of stuff yeah I, but I am like psycho about trying to remember because oh, really? if I forget, I'm like, get fucked up again. Oh. You idiot. You know, so then I get like, like I have all these lists. I'm like that as well. I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I like beat myself for forgetting everything. No, oh, I'm just yeah. like, I forgot. I mean, my grand has dementia and I feel like if she worried herself about it all the time, she would freak out. So I'm just like, whatever, I'll just forget stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But I also feel like it's kind of a, if you forget certain things, like it's kind of a burden on people. Like if, yes. if you're late all the time, then it's a burden. Or if you're, mm. or if you are like, a, oh shit, we gotta go back because I forgot my phone change. Yeah, yeah. And then you know it's like, oh fuck, we gotta. Yeah. You know, it becomes. So then I feel like, oh no, I don't want to be that guy. Yeah, I you think know, especially for, having women around, you know, they're always too much drama. Couldn't do. <laughs> <it>. <laughs> they're always making you remember stuff. Oh yeah, that's bad too. Yeah. Oh yeah, you make a promise to somebody, then. You <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Good lord. It's zipped up body bag after that. <laughs> it's over. A promise? Let's do this this day. Ooh, Ooh boy. Ooh. Oh, wow. uh, Wait, Lucas, what do you what do you think? Ooh. How have you changed? How have I changed? I feel like I've realized that I can. I feel like I've realized I can trust myself around people more, mm. which is a very nice thing. Which like a, a social mistake. situation. Which is a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> like a party or like a like in what way? I think it's more like I can I can trust that the people around me actually want me there uh. instead of me feeling like I always have to prove myself. Uh. I was thinking yes. similar. I think like the first year you live in a new city or doing a new thing like comedy, and like for us, I think there was everyone had like the same restart time of May twenty twenty one. Yeah. And that first year you are still at the auditioning level of friendship. And you like know you're vibing with certain people, but it's still coffee date level. Yes. But I was recently with some comics and I was like, and we were all just like getting dinner and stuff. And I was like, oh, I'm not anxious or tense at all. I'm like, right. these are all people I know and like, and if a riff bombs, I'm not like toast. Like, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ruined. Um, I was like, it is, I think it's a symptom of us like having stable friendships for now going yes. on like two years yeah, all doing the same nice. thing we all had to restart at the same time which was painful but also it's given us a real nice yeah bond absolutely well the thing is that i only recently got in a place where i was like okay if this one remark bombs i'm not now evil and gonna be cast to an island yes because i was like i remember specifically i was hanging out with someone who will remain nameless i'm not good but they made a riff that bombed and i thought i still love this person is and I still think, yeah. yeah uh, pff, uh, oh wait! Oh, oh, oh! I've never had a riff that bombed. Can't be me. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, perfect record. I yeah. remember the yeah. first time yeah. I hung out with you. It was like you, me, Sean O'Connor, Sasha, Tess Tregellis, a couple other people mm -hmm. after Tiny Cupboard, and oh, we went to this. People that bomb. People that bomb. No. Oh yeah. <laughs> it was oh, I am, on the roof. Tiny uh, Cupboard. Yeah. Oh. oh I have yeah. never. I have never. It's a bomb factory. I never <laughs> met any of you before. That's fucking Raytheon over there. <laughs> 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 that's, that's what we should have called it. That's so Fuck. funny. Oh my God. God damn it, dude. Oh, that's so Why didn't true. I think of that till now, a year Sweet. later? That's so... I that's genuinely hilarious. think you could say that at a mic tonight and it would crush. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> they we love went, Raytheon. We went to a Mexican oh, yeah, restaurant and I, I wasn't hungry, so I ordered a flan and you all made fun of me for ordering a flan and I was like... <laughs> I'm never making it in comedy. I'm fucking yes. the rest of my life. Oh. Everything felt like it carries so much weight. Yes. You yeah, thought you were yeah, under so much scrutiny. I think Sasha really came for me about the flan, and I was like, this this is over. <laughs> <laughs> I messed it up. But the Why thing I is, get the jello if, dessert? If no one commented about the flan, then you'd be like, they actually would have just written you off as a weirdo. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. If you don't say anything, then yeah, then it's like... We yeah. really don't then like this you talk behind, but Can we talk about how she ordered the fly? Yeah, yeah. Then one that, yeah. yeah. And no you, and yes, and that dessert. Oh. You provided a catalyst for their friendships because you yeah. were the weird girl that made them realize they liked each other. Right. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's beautiful. Uh -huh. You're the crazy person shitting on the subway. Oh my god, someone who ordered flan. <laughs> Wait, before we end, I mm -hmm. guess I guess we will do a little small self-perception with both of you because you both had major life events. Meredith, how has your breakup and abortion changed you? Oh my <laughs> How has your successful relationship? Oh how my is, God. How has falling in love changed you? 
<laughs> Ooh, a lot of ways, actually. Yeah. Oh my god, a lot of ways. A lot of ways. Well, you could go first. Do the. We'll end on a sour note. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, let's start. With- <laughs> Oh, we're gonna end sour. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So first, uh, they're, first they're sweet, then they're sour. Well, she's yeah. she. You know, you guys saying I'm loose goose on stage. Yeah. Well, she actually like kind of pushed me to trust myself more because mm. I had a few sets where like I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna tell this joke and I'm gonna tell it this way. These words mm-hmm. always, and if it doesn't work, it's a bad joke, and I failed. Mm-hmm. You know, and then. She became more like, well, you need to you need to have some emotion behind the joke, and you need to trust yourself. Just go up there and think of something mm-hmm. because you're good at that, and you can do that. And I was like, I was resistant. We were outside my apartment for like an hour, and she'd say, "Well, you need to trust yourself," and I'd always go, "But," and then have some big thing being like, "No, but what if that? What if it bombs? What if I go up there and don't think of anything?" Then what? Then I'm fucked, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. But but she's like, no, you just trust. Just, like, mm-hmm. you're going to get better at it. And then she she's much more in touch with herself than me. And she's helped me a lot with, uh, with being less self-critical and less like, you can never make a mistake. Like you can, you can make a mistake and not be a failure, you yeah. know? And that, that's like a big thing. She gives me so many books and I pray to read one. I pray to read one one day and I'm going to be so good if I read it and I'm going to be powerful. Yeah. Dude, I'm going to be. What kind of books are they? Oh, like, like alchemy. No, no. Uh, <laughs> no, it's like, um, it's like um, the bell hooks chick. Oh yeah. Oh, that, oh what's that one? All about? Oh, that describing all about. bell hooks as the bell hooks chick. Is. It's the bell hooks. I was, I was thinking, I was looking at you the book. bell hooks, the bell hooks chick. <laughs> Bell Hooks, I was thinking it would be so funny Ooh, if I didn't wow. read the book, but I did look at it on my nightstand. Which counts. It counts. I read the cover. And I, I would thought I thought it'd be so funny if someone mis- mistook Bell Hooks for Mel Brooks. You know the old school guy? <laughs> I actually know someone who made that mistake like Are a day serious? ago. I'm double fisting like, the mics, right? Like if someone's like, who's your favorite comic? I'm like, oh, I go old school. Bell hooks every yeah. time. <laughs> also, your favorite comic is Mel Brooks. <laughs> yeah. That's also Even if the answer was Mel Brooks. <laughs> That's also fucked. But just to say your favorite comic is Bell hooks, I would just love that. You'd have to be such a toxic person. Bell Gibson. I think, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So she got me that one. She got me that one for Valentine's Day. And then she got me... um. Well, she kind of left it at my house, but it's Tara Brock. Do you know her? No. Oh, she's good. That depressed chick, the uh, college one, read that. That shit's good. The uh, um, Joseph Robin. Joseph, uh, it's called um, Radical Acceptance. Ooh. And it's this lady. She's always got a lot of podcasts. Uh-huh. Listen to her. Meditate. I got through so many fucked things. I've had Whoa. interpersonal things where I'm so angry at somebody and I just want to, you know what I mean? <laughs> Like that, put I want to crown on them. I want to kiss them. I want to put my thumbs on their eyes and poke them through. Oh. You know? yeah. And then, um, <laughs> and then, uh, and then I read this, and she's like, "Well, when you have a, um, an issue with somebody, what's what's really happening is that both people's needs are not being met. Mm. So if mm. you figure out what need it is that's not being met, and you communicate that to them, and you tell them how you're feeling because of that, you'll be able to resolve the argument without, you know what I mean? Oh, I Pushing their that. eyes oh. through their eye sockets, you oh, know? wow. And, and I'm like, yeah, and it saved me in a lot of ways through a lot of different things. That's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I know. And it's really smart. This lady's, yeah. you know what I mean? So Meredith, you want to talk about your breakup now? <laughs> 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 well, I first want to say, I think it's cool hearing about you in particular talking about like learning to trust yourself on stage because you guys will agree with me, like, mm. When, when Pastor Dave is having fun on stage, like everyone's having fun. Yes. Yes. Oh. And also yes. I've been with you where we go to one mic and then to the next and I can see what the seed well, like, of the joke was that is carrying you through both sets, but both sets are different, which yeah. is really rare for a lot of us. I yeah. think a lot of, at least Brooklynites, aren't actually really workshopping when they go on stage. Yeah. Like they come kind of with audition like, like because we want to get booked level yeah. written out jokes. And I feel I like agree. you are trusting yourself and- Making yourself like a uh, coveted booking because no one else is doing yeah. what you're doing. Mm. So I'm glad. Ooh, that's interesting. I, I think you it's are really- a very unique comedian. I will yeah. always give you that. You are one of the most unique people I know. And it's the kind of thing where you are protected from like parallel thinking because you're doing 
something that you you yourself did not already think of. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. Well, that, that is also a problem, though, is because, like, w- w- I've just tapped into, like, using emotion more and, like, talking about things. I think that's so important. I'll pick, like, a topic, and I'll go, this topic really makes me mad. Like, my mom is a shitty computer, and she makes me fix it every time I go home. Mm-hmm. It makes me pissed. And, and so I try to talk about that, and I have a different kind of set each time. Mm-hmm. But what's scary is, like, okay, if I go to a show, I have to make that happen the same way I did it at the mic. That. And, it, and, it, and there's more pressure and there's mm-hmm. less like people give you less wiggle room. I feel like to like find it as you're talking. Cause that like, yes. I have really funny stuff that I come up with off the top, but it's also a lot of fat in between that like didn't make sense or, you know, people aren't following what mm. you're going. So the so, fat's still fun though. The fat, but then I say, the yeah. fat I enjoy. The I, I'm fat, a big fan of fat. Um, that That's the thing though. It's like, I, I feel more nerves with like, all right, this has to be good. And you know it's like but but also the delivery my delivery when i just thought of something is so much better than Mm. my delivery the 10,000th time i've said it and it's like hard to i'm like oh god just to be excited i gotta say this again yes and i feel the audience is susceptible to you not being excited by yes i feel like they read it I feel like they read it right away. Yes, I always they do. want to see the person who I'm watching have fun on stage. That's yes. Yeah. And there are people uh, that I that I know other people say like are really good comedians, but I don't see joy in their heart, and it, I, I immediately disconnect. Yeah. yeah. So if you're not yeah. having, I think that the core of that is like if you're not having fun, like honestly, what are you doing up there? You could be yeah. working an accounting job. You just yeah, could. you're it's making just, way yeah. more money. Yeah. No one is holding a gun to anyone's head, forcing them to do stand up comedy. Mm. And if they were, that would be crazy. But like. I think that's why it's so painful to watch people who are not having fun. It does. I I am always thinking when I see that, I'm like, what is, what made you come into comedy? Because I bet everyone in this room, we all started it because we were used to being funny in our friend groups and stuff. Speak for yourself. I will say, (laughs) and hey, I fucking will. I'll own that. I will say with the like being uh, loose and and riffing on stage and stuff. The high risk, high reward of it is it's like mm-hmm. the high reward. Everyone loves seeing your gears turning. High risk is like, oh, when they didn't like when the crowd didn't like that. That was not just like a rejection of an idea I had. I felt like they rejected me. Yeah, 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 <laughs> and yeah. it's hard to attach your your emotion. You're leading with emotion on stage, and it's hard to attach that to your stuff because then you're like. Oh, it's not that the joke wasn't clever. It's like they hate my guts. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But I will I think that segues into answering your question more. I I like that you can like joke about genuine like things that have been going on in my life cuz if I've changed in the past years, I'm not fucking private anymore. Mm. There was no reward in being private. I had like a little bit of dignity, but no one knew that. That was just for me. But but being more like public and talking to more people about all the stuff I'm going through, I feel less alone i'm contri- i'm helping other people feel less alone because i'm contributing to this like pool of, of people being like oh my god that happened to me when i was blah 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 and i'm yeah. like oh everyone there's ah, i felt like i always felt so much shame and whatever was going through in my life and i do not like when people use stand-up as therapy that's annoying like i'm not doing breakup material right now because i i think people will the audience is so smart and they know when you are not when you're not okay yet. When you're not okay yet. If you're doing Even jokes, if you think you are. Yeah. They're so, and that's uncomfortable, and then I think it's selfish. I, I want to make people laugh. I don't want to work things out. Can I ask you a question? Of which, course. Which uh, you may not be able um, Do you think you're ready to, is there anything about the breakup that makes you laugh? And if not, do you see yourself being able to laugh about it at some point? Oh, definitely. If this has taught me one thing, it's that uh, no life event could ever push me out of the rift zone. <laughs> I had a show that night. And ironically, that's beautiful. I love that. It's like, I, yes. there's nothing that could happen. No, I have stuff brewing. I think there, I have an idea for like one day doing a extended bit about um, breaking up with a short king. I don't think that'll be like my big thing. I, I definitely think there are things that are funny. But yeah, as long as it's the kind of stuff where I'm like, I actually had an observation that could be new to other people mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. is, is funny and relatable and not like i need to work this out shock value isn't it crazy this happened to me yeah. like that's so fucking annoying <laughs> i don't want to i don't want to do therapy on stage yeah right, at all but i'll probably um i'll probably do material about it eventually or i you won't. know what you you know what you can do though just we were talking about the tiny cupboard earlier 
Mm. You can always go there and just say whatever. It's so you true. Can, I don't need a. <laughs> you can go in the little blue room and just say something. You know, <laughs> it's just because, like, like when I like am um, getting into stand up. Sometimes I'll take breaks where I like don't do it for a week or something, and I'll mm-hmm. come back. Same, yeah. And I'll go there, and I'm like, all right, I can riff here. There's gonna be five people on their phones. It'll be fine. Yeah. And I'll mm. just see. I'll just get see the gunk what out. You this need is that energy. Like. Yeah. You need people there, but not there. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. there. I was there. Whatever. Earlier this week, there was an iPhone alarm going off. The entire <laughs> mic, yeah. the entire mic, and we just dealt with it. We just and the mic wasn't even working. It was just, but the alarm was, but the alarm, was and strong. someone needed to take their birth control. Do it into the alarm. <laughs> yeah. like, you do your, it was so fucked. It was like in another room. You know, there's other businesses oh, there. Beautiful. And shit. So you can just oh. hear this, oh. and people are like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. you know, it just was so. It's so funny when people power through that stuff, and I'm like, why aren't you talking about the thing that we all are thinking about? But it's beautiful. It's a beautiful place. It's like low. <laughs> it's you know what I mean. No, there's no yeah. stakes. Go there. Yeah. Just, you know what I mean. You're playing with house money. My you know, other suggestion good. is go to a mic where you don't usually go, where no one knows you, and just run your old stuff back and get la- and get the laughs. Mm. I oh, an ego mic. I've I done that, that before. I did that a couple times. I, I did, like, my best joke at a mic, just, like, as a freebie, and it nearly got, like, it nearly got, like, an applause break. I was like, I feel cheated, bec- or, like, I feel like I'm cheating because I'm doing this, but, like, I hadn't done stand-up in, like, a couple days, and I needed just, like, the confidence boost. I completely mm. agree with yeah. that. A greatest hits, little ego boost. The thing is, though, if that if that fails, that's then what it's I was all thinking. over. I was, I'm afraid to do that because I'm like, if this bombs, I'm gonna I'm gonna start cutting. But it won't. Uh, yeah, I have, I I have old yeah. jokes that I think are bad and I don't do them anymore. And sometimes I'll do them and they still get a laugh. I'm like, I get it because I guess it's just like a good setup punchline that I've mm. worked out a bunch. I will say I had a really beautiful experience like two weeks ago where I just tried out a joke. That I had ne- I'd never written, but I've been sitting on for like a year and just like never figured out. And a then joke fucking- you'd never written? Yeah, it was like a joke idea about because it was a riff from something about like how like I don't I think I think everyone here has heard me say this by now, but like the like I'm like why do we why do we measure penis with a ruler? It's a it's it's sh- it's not about length or width. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. about volume. It's a three dimensional experience. Oh my and god! And about right, you need. I've to- literally written this joke. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm serious. When I was living in Boston, I wrote the exact thing. So there is parallel thinking. <laughs> there yeah, is yeah, parallel yeah. thinking. Except Dave yeah. had a, a Hillary Clinton tag on it too. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah it was a butter about email. It was in the email. She was like, "Hey, crazy idea." Well, I think that's it. But it was fun because Kevin Mulheron said I was talking about that, and then he was like, "Oh, like, oh, like they need a graduated cylinder." And when he said that word, I was like, "That's." That it, I was like, yes, I don't need to know how many inches. Tell me how much water you're displacing. Yeah, and it's yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. And it's the kind of thing where I said that at a mic, did really well, and then I, nor and then I had a show right after that. And me a year ago would not have trusted myself to incorporate it into my set, but I was like, I know when a joke's gonna work a little bit at this point. That was the Kiss Club show, right? Yes. Yeah, we died laughing. At I, and so that was good. my so second good. time ever saying it, it and incredible. I felt really. Pleased to know that I was at a place you crushed where on I that speak. Show. Yeah. I you really, that. really did. Yeah, and you, you did it right because when I did that joke, it bombed. <laughs> 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 I'll tell you that right now. Not good. I do think there's something different yeah. about guys talking about how to measure their own dicks versus me being like, how much water are you displacing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A little bit creepier. Yeah. Do you remember how you did it? Uh, I well, have, he just pulled it out. I have <laughs> notes. I have notes. I could look it up literally right yeah. now. But, but I don't know. I don't remember. It was something about a Snickers in there. Oh, the some, vein? I mean, you're oh, not vein. you when you're hungry. There was something half a Snickers or something. There was something about <laughs> half a Snickers. Remember when they were going to move the vein? Uh, the were they gonna vein? Get, they were going to get rid of the, oh, the vein. Shaving it off? Yeah. Oh. Look what they took from us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't get rid of that. I know. No. Yeah. So I want to see. I want to see what the yeah. green M M&M and M does with that vein. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I don't want a smooth Snickers. Come on. Well, oh. I think on that note, that's our <laughs> that is I, yeah. that is our 101st episode of Two Nerds and Meerkats. Very quickly, uh, do you either of you have anything you want to plug? Yes. Besides my butt. Um, <laughs> anything? Anything at all? Uh, for me, uh, I host the Jerry Seinfeld Presents Mike and Show at Black Cat Lower East Side Sundays 7:30. Beautiful. Okay, guys, S and D podcast. Okay, yeah. S and the letters D. Okay? Salt and pepper, and it's not, Snicker Doodle. It's, yeah, it sounds for yeah, it's something bad. Um, and and, and <laughs> Snosif 
It's Nabinet. <laughs> Dieden. <Dieden. Dieden. laughs> <laughs> yeah, Snowsif Dieden. Okay. And it's prank calls and it's so fun and funny. And we're going to have these guys and we're going to have you. We're going to have all hey. y'all. Oh, it's, re- it's a really funny podcast. We're going to, yeah. And we're we're going to call people and we harass customer service people. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and it's for our game. So it's fun. And, um, and, um, and also follow me on Instagram at Pastor Dave Bless. Oh, yes, at deets.m. I love you. Love you. Thank you all for listening. You you guys are amazing. Keep listening. A hundred more. And we're going to keep doing this. We love you so much. We're so grateful. We're going to live forever. Four more years. We will never. Four Four more more years. years. Four Four more years. years. Four more years.